Good morning, everybody. I am Omni Rusted. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Um. Oh damn! I need to sleep. Was I reading? Did I read. I read. I read. Farming for beginners. Metalwork for beginners. Maybe it's. Do I actually get to work on my metalworking? That'd be insane. I think I do. What? That'd be weird. Metal walls, metal roof. Metal walls would be really nice to block off that hallway. Uh, is there any other metalwork? There's electronic stuff that I've read. I haven't read anything else that I can make weapons of, though. Um, the big question is... I do not have one. Darn. So as of yet, even still, I do not have the combination available for the goddamn metal, for any goddamn metalworking. I got Wood X3. Nope. I could have sworn that I had one. <sighs> Why does this always happen? I could have sworn that I had one, actually. Maybe if I actually, like, organize things? So it's going to be a, a shorter uh, stream today. I I do have things to do later. Oh, I do have a propane torch. Okay, well, let's get to work on metalworking then. I am uninjured. I am, however, very, very hungry. Um, so let's go see if we have something to eat, and then I'm going to go to bed, and then we're going to go start uh, taking stuff apart. What do we got for food? Let's eat this whole thing of mac and cheese. And sleep in our chair. I really do need to get an actual chair one of these days. What's up, Andrew Dan? Okay, grab our clothes. Well, our armor. Make sure our water bottles are full. This is going to be thirsty work. Mostly because I'm just going to sweat it all out. I'm going to start here because these are taken apart by the propane torch. Uh, let, let's. Ooh, my bandage. Can't forget about that. Still have a laceration. It is not infected, though. I got one thing of rip sheets left. I should still be good. Okay, so let's watch our metal work in here. It is currently at 4.8. Oh. That's actually quite fast. I don't know how we're learning so much taking apart these tiny chairs. I mean, we are getting, like... Triple due to uh, the, the book we read, but wow, that is way faster than expected. And if I'm really worried about my fuel for this propane torch, I have the propane a full propane tank out uh, at the barbecue, so I can refill anytime I need. I don't. Re I finally got a single metal pipe. Wow. Uh, I don't expect to be actually using that. And there's metal working level one. I don't expect to actually be using that. Uh, that barbecue. Ever, because it has propane in it, and I am too conservative uh, in my use of uh, resources such as that. Because I'm going to constantly worry that I'm going to need a propane torches. Whereas, like, if I just find a round barbecue somewhere, I could just put wood in it. I actually heard the Wicked Witch scream, fly you fools in my head. Really? Because uh, I was picturing Gandalf. Why was I stuck in that table? Keep moving. 
We're going to learn everything about metalworking from disassembling friggin' school chairs. Which are mostly plastic. We're getting metal pipes, which is nice. Um, what do we got in here? Plank. I can use that. No, mm, yeah, we'll take it by the sink. Screw it. I need to find a way to work on carpentry. All right, that's everything in here. Let's pick up all of our scrap metal. Move on to the next. So if I'm where I believe I am, and I am where I believe I am. Then I should be I should be able to go hit Enigma books. That would require going outside. Y'all don't no, I I don't approve of going outside. Should we maybe take one of these metal bars with us? Just in case. It's not a blade. Kind of all I got, though. Um, I already kind of used all day to, to work, so maybe not. Well, that took way longer than I expected. Anything? Nope. Well, let's uh, let's keep working for just a little bit then. These are carpentry. Yeah, they are. There's no lockers in this locker room. Oh my god! Did I not? I I really didn't. Oh my god! I didn't at all. What is wrong with me? I never hit the library. I'm in a school. I am in a higher place of learning. Actually, it's a children's school, so not really. Somehow they've got uh, a lot of advanced books in here, though. Uh, but, like, I never hit the books in here. Uh, my only... My, my only excuse is that I'm a silly goose. That's that's the only thing I can think. There's a lot of advanced books in here, but uh, not many... Not many beginner books or intermediary books. I mean, I said I wanted an intermediary book. What I meant was I want carpentry for beginners. Crap. No carpentry for beginners. Uh, at least I have a pencil. Can make a to-do list. You actually do need an eraser, believe it or not. I was actually surprised to find that out. Oh well, back to work. These chairs aren't going to disassemble themselves. I have a mod that adds a Publisher's Digest you can pick up and you can check it for books you have and haven't read. That's an amazing idea! I need that! Alright, there's Metalworking too. I like, I, I literally need that. So, uh, I can't even read Metalworking for Intermediary, uh, in, Intermediary Metalworking yet until I do uh, level 3, until I reach level 3 on my own. The only way to learn is by experience now. I will 100% add that mod to my collection. Thank you. I greatly appreciate that. What? My character wouldn't stop moving. 
1940. I can go back and, and go sleep. You know what? I don't think I ever went in here. How long do candles last for? I found that out. Up I go. And now let's sort through our book. Uh, I'm going to leave you on the ground along with my writing implements so I can know where you are and come back to you later. Candle. Screaming. I don't think everything's going to fit on here. Oh, it will. <laughs> what do you know? I don't have enough books yet, which makes me sad. Uh, cooking for beginners. That's the only beginner book I found. Are you kidding me? Expert metalworks, advanced carpentry. I didn't find anything useful. I'm still going to have to hit Enigma. Sigh. All right. Dinner and then sleep. You know, I'm an expert chef. Maybe I should not be eating these uh, homemade hot dogs, but... It's happening. This bandage is getting dirty quite often, actually. Oh, and it's healed. Good enough for me. I guess we're on to Enigma books. I've got to actually, like, leave my sanctum. Uh, let me check my map really quick, just to be sure here. Um, I've actually got it pulled up. If I remember where I am. No, not there. I actually get it like pulled up on a tablet so I don't have to constantly alt tab. All right, there we are. There we are. Enigma books. Uh, I am. Oh, I'm just down the street. And it's nighttime, which is a good time to start out. I don't know why my character is so sad. Oh, before I leave, actually, I want to unhook this thing. It is cool. But I don't need it yet. Like, I might take it with me uh, to go fishing and stuff, but that's far, far in the future. Well, it's pretty quiet out there today. That's a surprise. I should reach Main Street someday. Just make a ton of noise. How about? Um, I might not be where I think I am. Hold on. There's the school. Oh, I went the totally wrong direction. Oops. Okay. You didn't see that. There were trees there. Excuse me. I've learned, um... Basically, the idea... Oh... Uh, 
to, to not be afraid of using my car as a weapon on these monumental mobs we keep getting. I'm always worried about like ruining the car or getting stuck in the middle of a mob. And really, it's not so bad. Like, your cars can do a lot of damage and and I should... I should take advantage of that. I keep avoiding it instead. And like, if there's a huge horde, find a sacrificial car. Go up to a ridiculous speed and just ram through them. All right, so time for sports. Time for sport, ma'am. Oh, there's there's a few in there. Here, let me help you. I am not speeding this up. Oop, maybe I don't have to. Hello? Hi. Well, that didn't last very long. Good thing I brought this metal bar. I love that the metal bar looks exactly like a metal pipe. Are we good? Nope, that's the wrong place. Well. Hmm. Fascinating. Here, take this. Sports stores are awesome and should be one of your first looting stops. Oh, I agree. I'm ready to run away in case she breaks through this while I'm doing this, because there are two zombies banging on that. Actually, I think only one zombie at a time can bang on it. But once this opens up, I'm backing the hell up. Remy is a smart rat. He only ever fights one Z at a time. Two is pushing it, which is why we push them. Leather gloves, hey. A little bit of protection there. Okay, so aside from the uh, the noise, the danger music, we're safe. A hockey stick. Um, I've never actually used one of these field hockey sticks before. But they look neat, and I've had people swear by them, so we'll try it out. It's probably just a long blunt, uh, much like the baseball bat, but the baseball bat is amazing, so who knows? I hear banging somewhere. A lacrosse stick? You ever been hit with one of those, you know how much they hurt. I'm assuming I've never been hit with one. Hi. Swimming goggles, I'll take those. Um, it looks like no bags. A riding helmet. A hiking bag, yes. They're decent, they do tend to lose disability fairly quick, but are very good long blunts. Good to know. So, uh, we did get a bag. Not a good one, but, you know. It's better than the duffel bag I've been using. And a riding helmet. Uh, let's equip secondary. I didn't get fanny packs, which is what I'm really looking for. But I will take these with me. You know, I go biggity for 
uh, shelving. So I'm kind of weird. Such as using words like biggity, which isn't really a word. Oh, wait. Hold on. Nope. Can't carry it. Okay, thought I'd try. I'll come back. I'll come back for you, baby. Oh, I am really tired today. I woke up at like 4 a.m. for some weird ass reason. And then went back to sleep for about an hour. And uh, never quite got back to sleep, but I'm slowly, slowly becoming a real person again. Slower than I'd like, but I'm trying. All right, there's the mail service. We're definitely looting this. And... So this is what I'm talking about. Like, I should not be afraid of using my car as a weapon. I don't want to fight this. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know why this is amusing to me. There's like four of them under me. Oh! Uh, doing wheelies, on the other hand, is a is a danger. See, that's that's one thing you got to look out for: is zombie bodies are a flip danger. And really, I'm just here to, to loot, so... Every once in a while, I want to go and I want to check the uh, durability of my hood. Still at 57%. If it gets to zero, it's going to start damaging the hood, uh, the engine. Which will be a problem. Oh, wow. That was dangerous. Uh, let's get the metal bar. Oh, I can't get the metal bar on my belt. Well, it's like a one-handed weapon. But I can only use, I can only put it on my back because of its length. That's very strange. Nice to see you hitting stores first, which is my method. I usually go, yeah, usually go for houses. Depends on what I'm looking for. Uh, if I'm in Ro and, and where I am, Rosewood doesn't really have any hardware options. So I, if I'm in Rosewood, I tend to go for houses, especially for generators. But like right now, I'm going for books. So, all right, there's 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 danger here somewhere. I can hear it. I can smell it. We don't want to be surprised while looting. What's up? Oh. It's a one-handed that can hit multiple. That's very much like the uh, the night nightstick. Maybe I should be using a short blunt more on No, I've made that mistake before. I don't need to be using short blunt a lot. Like, I can train short blunt, but I have a goal. Good enough for now, though. I don't hear anything else, but that doesn't mean anything. Three garbage bags! Wow. They have one of them lazy janitors that, like, puts an extra garbage bag at the bottom of the garbage can. So they don't have to, like, change it later. No, take it. There we go. And, like, three garbage bags is good. I was looking blunt, I was looking blunt forever, but I'm pro short blunt now. Short blunt among the blunts is really the superior option. Yeah, I got what you were trying to say, don't worry. Uh, but yeah, if you're going to go be going blunt, 
short blunt is really the superior option. Long blunt is nice because it can hit multiple and you can keep them at range. Um, I wish that just blunt in general was an option, but it's not. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Carpentry for beginners. Grogoil. I don't remember how to say your name. How you doing today? Electricity for beginners. Oh, man. Mechanics, this is a haul, and I haven't even hit the bookstore yet. How do you get the toolbar at the bottom of your screen? Wait, this? That's that's vanilla. I am confused. That should be in your game. It's a belt. I mean, that's always been in the game. Not even in build 41. Okay, I'm still hearing noises. Uh, yeah, I it's a belt, so maybe your character has no belts. They should have, like, one thing that they can grab there. There you are. Not saying you were going to surprise me, but I didn't want you to surprise me. Oh, that's right. For some reason, the post office upstairs is, like, empty. It's weird. Oh well, you're coming with me. I played the game for several hours and have not seen that. My character does doesn't have a belt. That that would be why. There should still be like one thing down there. That you can put on because you can just hold something like in your pocket. Um but yeah, I would suggest finding a belt, and after that, there, there's several things that can expand that. Belt, holster, and double holster all give you more slots down there. Camera's gone again. I don't like... Why do you guys want the camera so bad? I mean, my hair does look amazing today, but like, sometimes I just don't want the camera there. Oh, I felt it. Yeah, I just don't feel like the camera today. My hair does look fantastic, but I just I'm just not feeling it. Well, fine. If you're going to call me pretty. I I usually have it on for other games. I just feel like it takes up space on this, you know? It's nice to put a face to the voice. Uh, sure. Oh god, I've actually got a lot of books. This is really good. Oh, and omelets. Apparently dangerous uncooked. I think you guys just want to watch me scream. Which, I mean, yeah. That, that is kind of what we're all here for. Uh, re uh, already read that, of course, because I'm a cook. I might have wrote it myself. Oh, generator book. Uh, I'm watching uh, Private Lime right now, and like... He's been looking for a generator book for a good week in his game, and that's a thing that you really, really need. It's shocking that it's so incredibly rare, but you can, I mean, you can live without electricity. Just not well. I need to look around first. This is always where I die, is not looking around. <laughs> before I start speeding things up to put things into a trunk. There we go. Back to work. Yeah, always missing that one thing. Like, always missing a propane tank or a propane welder or a welding mask. That's my thing. I'm always, I'm always lacking. I need to, like, sit down and rest for a second because if any of that's come upon me when I'm this tired, I'm a dead person. Sit and 
rest. I can't find backpacks. I've never had trouble finding backpacks. Um, I always go to schools, sports stores, you know, anything with a locker, really. Oh, I forgot the water cooler. Just carrying around this entire water dispenser over my shoulder. Only five kilograms, which is not bad, but... Still heavier than I should be carrying. Yeah, look how much faster I am now. Remy tells his slave to carry the water, an entire water cooler. Herbalist, already read, okay. That's good. Ooh, locksmithing. Uh, I've already got metalwork for beginners, Rhett, so I don't need that. Try schools, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anything with a locker in it. Uh, so locker rooms in, like, police stations and, um... Fire stations, stuff like that. Anything with lockers. All right. Very nice haul. And now, as much as I love these shelves, I love metalworking scale even more. We need to get to three on metalworking. And I need uh, metal sheets. So we'll just disassemble just these. Riverside is my jam. That's where I'm at right now. Gotta love Riverside. Like, it's gotta be just one of the easiest places to go and live. And I've got no problem with that. This is where I started. This is where the game wants me to be. Unlimited water, fishing during the winter. Don't mind if I do. I mean, during the winter, you fish less, but you still can get stuff, so. Yep, you would have seen me go to the uh, go to the sporting goods store already. In fact, I'll drive by it on my way back. Why did I remember how to get home? I do always have a problem navigating for some reason. I am not using the nutritionist mod. No. I mean, I didn't know if there was a, a mod a specific thing for nutritionist. I'm just, I just, I don't have it turned off. Oh man. Okay. Um. Let's track them out this way a little bit. I was wondering why my game was crashing. That must be it. I don't know. I'm sorry, your game's crashing. There's no way we can let this exist. Damn, that pile there is like really starting to be a flip hazard. One more run through and I should be able to take out everything else myself. Nope, that's just way too many. A lot of crawlers. I want to hit Enigma books, but I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to today. I might need to go find a place to just lay low for the night. Because I'm super tired, and super tired means no combat. Maybe my maybe maybe Remy should spend some time working on his slave. 
All right, there's Enigma books. I'm gonna do another run through them. I'm 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 way too worried about being stuck up on, and there was way too many Zeds in this group. In fact, I think I'm just gonna go hide for the night somewhere. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hit Enigma books right now. Not when I'm not when I'm this exhausted. There we are. Time for sport. That's what you want to look for, sports stores. That's a survivor's house. Oh, I did not unload. Holy shit. Woo, hi. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Yeah, that's why I don't want to fight him. Jesus. That took a while. Yay, sports ball! Go sports ball! Do the thing! Hit the ball! Do it for your deity! Oh, let's not go in there. It is a silly place. I will check the shed, though. Um, I mean, I need I need any tool I can find, but what I'm really in the market for is a generator of some kind. There we go. Uh, metal bar, car battery charger could be useful. Sack I will need. I think I already had. Oh, I've already got farming going. What am I talking about? Fishing rod. Hey, better than sticks. Hi. Only one of you? Okay. I can take out one of you. Too tired to clear the house? Uh, yeah. By the way, good morning, Chaos Mage. Good morning, Comrade Mikhail. I mean, look how many hits it's taking me to take out just one Zed right now. any food in here? I do not. Looks clear. And there's books. You know I love my books. Why must you disappoint me? Oh my god. Latches. That's what I'm talking about. And a pot for my troubles. Don't mind if I do. Pots are like one of the most important things in the game. No f uh, a little bit of food. I thought about sleeping in the car, but if I can get to a bed, I'd rather get to a bed. I'm hearing something. I'm hearing you. Hi. No. I like survivor houses, not for the loop, because they come pre-barricaded. I cannot disagree. There's what I was looking for. Wasteland warrior with scrap sword and scrap machete. Okay. Close the curtains. Let's grab some furniture. Is there any furniture I can grab? Yeah, here we are. Grab a chair. I'm going to make myself even more tired by barricading up this house first. Um, yeah, right here. Actually, I should be able to just cheat the system a little bit. If I... Put my chair, chair here. When zombies come through the window, 
they will have to go whoosh over the chair and land here. And I'm here. Oh, you can just walk past the chair. Whatever. I don't care. I'm sleeping. I should have smoked first, so I won't wake up with nightmares. Whatever. I got a full night's sleep. Awesome. Wow. Actually a little surprised. And in the meantime, this burger I found is now cooked. Mmm, grease. Yeah, that's the biggest problem with Survivor Houses. Filled with zombies. And as much as I would love to go look through the... Oh god, it does have a lot of guns, doesn't it? Fuck, I need to go in there. Oh, maybe not. I. They might have gotten out. This might be the group that was inside the Survivor House. Uh, note to self, check my tires. Crushing bone can ruin tires quite quickly. You spin me right round, baby, right round. I'm going to tip this truck if I keep doing this. <laughs> Slow it down a little bit. I noticed that my uh, my wheels stopped touching the ground at one side. <laughs> God. Just die already. Hey, Kath. There, fucking finally, man. Okay, my wheel is on your head going back and forth. Why are you not dead? Thank you. That Survivor House could potentially have guns. You, however, have fingerless gloves and a riding helmet. I want those. You will give me them. I said hi, I hear just die already. It's not personal, I just want you dead, you know? I don't know why that would offend you. Missing the days when you could run over a million and tires are just fine. I mean, I'm really hoping that very soon they add an option in for, um, putting like a, a cow plow on the front of your truck, you know? Oh, that's why I was doing no damage. Shit, I'm hitting them with my engine. <laughs> 65, okay, I can't hit more zombies anymore. Damn it. My tires are fine, though. But this thing cannot hit any more zombies and survive. Now let's see, yep, yep, it was this place. All right, well, let's uh, grab all the stuff. Survivor houses always have the best loot. Oh, look at all the bullets! Only one thing of shotgun shells, though. Like, I don't even care about the other weapons. I just want shotgun shells. You left a friend behind. I guess that's kind of his fault. He got lost. Clear. Morning, Teddy Trey. Blue electric guitar. Electronics magazine. I do actually need that one, though. And there's one dead guy. Snow plow truck OP. Right! I want it! Can tuna in the bathroom. Trapping for beginners, which I do not have, or at least I have not read. Well, that was... I mean, lots of bullets, and I'm good with that. I appreciate when feel, when fellow zombie fans join the stream. 
Yeah, I've, uh... I, I, I'm realizing lately that I have a thing with zombies, and I'm not exactly sure why. Like, if there's a zombie game, I want to play it. Street Sweeper Dracovia. <laughs> um, excuse me, I think you guys are all forgetting, um... What is it, uh... Fuck, now, now I can think it's Dig Furrows. It's, it's a plow. Nope, nope. Um, okay, just avoid that. Zamboni. Um, I want the... Oh God, what is it? Thresher. Combine, yes, Combine. The, from, uh, uh, what, what was that game? Shit. I mean, Dead Rising had a, uh... I had, like, a riding lawnmower. <laughs> I'm actually kind of wondering uh, if I can hit this place. Like, I might not be able to. There's too many Zeds. Uh, yeah, I've got to go home. Or get another vehicle. Kind of, this character is uh, combat inept. So I don't really have the opportunity to do things yet. So we're going to head back home. If I can remember where home is. One second, let me pull up my map again. <laughs> okay, so I am, where am I? Shit. Left, then left. Combines are great if you want to make a five mile per hour getaway. I mean, if the Zeds can't get inside. Unhook trailer, drive in reverse. Uh, that actually ruins the quality of the trunk, so the trunk will be able to hold less. And it'd be kind of dumb to, like, be, be holding less gear in the trunk when I'm, I'm literally here to loot and put everything in the trunk. Probably move this trailer, huh? Eh, whatever. Damn it, you broke my hockey stick. Here, take that. Um, I should also really work on actually I sh I should work on actual tools. I kind of haven't been. Uh, why, why can I not? I, I, a tad, I, what? Oh, it suddenly reattached. Okay, that was weird. Okay, duffel bag. Uh, I, no, I'm busy. Damn. Remy getting frustrated. I'm Gyoza, redeemed. Get a snack. I will get a snack. I still have this jerky. Fuck yes, jerky. One second. <laughs> I'm having trouble with the package. <sighs> Combine Harvester plus Speed Demon. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. You know, there's a lot of car mods, and I've never installed any of them, except for the one, uh, the tow truck one. You have a mod list. Yep. Exclamation point zombies. Go ahead and take a look. And, uh, anything you want to know about, just ask. I love talking about myself. I just heard a banging somewhere. I better not have heard a banging. I'll be upset if I did. Because I'm not ready yet. 
All right, you there. You there. I want to make sure my books are all in a different pile, so they're not going to mix with the common rabble. And there's the bookshelf full. All right. Yes, but you're enjoyable while doing so. Mm -hmm. I thank you. Uh, this sack should come with me. Oh, God, so many bullets. So many bullets. Keeping the food stuffs on me for now. All right. Bags. You want one of these, wasn't they? weren't they? I thought they were. Yeah, right here. Okay. Bag guess. Oop, nope, the garbage bags come with me. I forgot. If you could be any kind of sandwich, what kind would you be? Playing Build 41? Absolutely, Adam Baird. Shit, I don't know. It's not really a kind of thing that I think about very very often as being a sandwich. I'd have grilled cheese because then I would be comforting and everyone would love me. A grilled cheese, so there you go, with mesquite, turkey, and pesto, and monster cheese. Wow, we have completely different, uh, completely different reasonings on what we'd be and why we'd be it. Threw one up really fast? Yeah, you did. Scrap wood, unusable metal, riding helmet. Make sure all of the books are in a different pile. Um, no, that is not what I wanted to do. Oh god, I was speeding things up there. Shit. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I'm just unloading right now. I might not even go out again for a while. I might just read for a bit. Uh, that's probably a mistake, come to think of it. Okay, that's empty. Oh, wow. Am I done? Other than all the metal shelves I have to bring in. My grilled cheese is blue cheese with honey and apples. That's not a... But grilled cheese has to be disgusting yellow cheese. I don't understand y'all. I make a really good grilled cheese sandwiches with other stuff in them. I usually put like a smoked turkey. I like that a lot. Only if you dis only if you like disgusting yellow cheese. I mean, I'm I can't have cheese. So I should really stop dro start dropping stuff. Why am I holding the fishing rod in my hands? And an extra duffel bag. And an empty gas can. <laughs> I'm just carrying just a bunch of crap on me. What is weighing me down? I'll put this away for a second. I'm trying to put up this metal shelf. Wow. Okay, well, we're going to be here for a bit anyway, so I might as well drop a bunch of crap. Um... Drop the leather jacket, and... Didn't I have a sweater? Yeah. I'm really surprised I'm not constantly dehydrated. Why can't I... 
Drop this then. Can I please? Wow, I just cannot carry this. Maybe it's because... No, I'm not tired. I'll just keep dropping stuff until I can put this in my damn inventory. Wow. Am I carrying two of these or something? Nope, just the one. Okay, now I can unpack it. That was weird. I have no idea what was going on there. Worst spawn ever. I'm in a work school building with pen and pencils only. Only good thing spawned is a pipe wrench and a car key. No bags? Do zombies get harder over time? No, but they will be a lot more of them over time. Oh, yeah. Schools also come with libraries. And if you can find the gym, you can sometimes find sports equipment. Baseball bats and hockey sticks and stuff. Water dispenser? Uh, they're the best thing to hold water. Yeah, and you, they can hold a hell of a lot of water, and you kind of don't have to constantly uh, be going back and forth boiling water. War lockers? What? Should I pack water dispensers with me? I often carry water dispensers um, like into a truck or something if I'm going long distances so that I have a large supply of water I can carry with me. Uh, whether you want to or not is entirely up to you. All right, what do I want to make today? Let's open up a can of potatoes, a can of corn, a can of tuna. Let's make a stir fry out of all of these. Uh, we got a little bit in omelets. They're not cooked yet, so I might as well throw them in the frying pan. Not really doing fresh food today, but whatever. I'm looking for a lot of food. Car battery and engine is dead. Oh, man. That, that means you got to find a new one. It's the only thing you got. Let's add some avocado. Apparently I can't put the canned... Oh, I opened up canned soup on accident. Darn it. Um, tomato. And salt and pepper because those are the only spices in the game. Well, I can still make a pot of soup here. Yeah, that's exactly it. Like, you don't know when you're going to be hit with a drought or something. Yeah, water dispenser is only 5 kilos and carries 250. Like... That's incredible. There we go. Bing! Grab these. Uh, 105 hunger. Oh my god. That's incredible. We're going to eat this entire pot of soup, though. Now I'm kind of wondering if cooking skill increases the amount of food that you get. It would make sense. One oh five. That is an incredible amount of food. Huh? Is it time to go to sleep? It might be time to go to sleep. Cockroach uncooked. Mmm. Culinary delights. Uh, let's wash up.
because my character is hemophobic and is going to be very sad. Fill our bottles and have a cigarette and then go to sleep. Because I am pretty tired. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and like, I think I'm going to spend a couple days doing nothing but resting, um, reading, and exercising. I was really trying to find an R word for exercising, but it, it didn't happen. Alright. Read. Already read. Already read. Already read. Unread? Read. 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 We're just learning. This is a house of knowledge. A knowledge such as how to pick locks is power. And I am currently not powerful, but I will be. I will be. Recreation? I'll, I'll take care of recreation later. Happiness does affect the speed at which you do things, but, like, I'll be fine. I'm making really good chicken soup with veggies lately because it's winter and our house is freezing, our heater isn't working. Ah, oh, man. That, that, that really sucks. Alright, that's all my magazines read up. Oh no, I didn't check the bookshelf. Was I looking at the bookshelf the whole time? I was. I didn't check the floor. Yep. Read. Already read, already read, already read, already read. Just making sure. Nope, I missed one. The most important one. I'm also going to do something really quick here. I'm taking this with me. My bed. And I make a reading nook. I was saying recreation was the R word you were looking for. No, that was relaxing. Uh, no, recreation isn't really exercising. I'm going to be exercising. I'm going to do fitness when we get stronger. I'm also going to check my plants. Nothing. Internet is better than heater. You sure love to collect negative moodles. I just know which ones are important, that's all. Alright, we're sitting, and because y'all are complaining about the negative moodles, boom, gone. Which I wanted to do that beforehand anyway. Um, we're at about 69, so I can eat a quarter of this meal. There! All gone. Yeah, happy because like I'm actually trying to lose weight, which involves mostly starving myself. I'm in 92. Jesus. <laughs> All right, carpentry for beginners is our first goal. I've had a 12 by 12 foot room of those interlocking rubber mats for the kitties. Oh, that's cute. Aren't you worried about like them clawing it and like hurting themselves or anything, or eating it and poisoning themselves? Uh, we have two little space heaters for our 2,000 square foot house. It doesn't work very well. All I can say is a good thing. We have a few heated blankets. That's That sucks. Covered with vinyl. Yeah, that's what I was worried, is that they would shred it. Oh, no. Nope, we're out. I'm grabbing a couple books that I need, and I'm out. I am out. No, not both of them. We are out, y'all. Don't bother picking up forks or pens as weapons. They break the first hit. Uh, they're good to kill from behind, and they are uh, only good for, like... Uh... A starting weapon when you haven't found anything else yet. Do wielding spoons OP? What are we playing Skyrim now? I need to get the hell out of town. Yep. Before he comes back. I didn't bring my armor or weapons with me. I just ran.
How do you kill anyone with a spoon? With difficulty. Eyes up the nose, into the neck. Just sharpen it a little. All I know is that it's dull, so it hurts more, right? You carve out their heart with it. Squeeze them too tightly. Wow. You become a bed hog. Uh, you, you marry them, and you stay with them for about 50 years, nagging them the whole time until they die unhappily. If you hit them through the nose or eyes, it's near to the brain, so that's a much death. Yeah, exactly. The long con, right? I did hear a helicopter, right? I'm not going crazy. All right. This should be far enough out of town. We're just going to... You didn't hear anything? Maybe I'm going crazy. It sounded like either a heli or thunder. I didn't hear thunder. God damn it, maybe I am going crazy. I could have swore I heard one. You heard it? Mm -hmm. It should have come back twice by now, though. It's supposed to follow you out of town and everywhere. I jumped. Hmm. No, the helicopter knows where you are and it follows you. Always. It doesn't need to see you. It's not actually an entity, it's an event. Low thunder roll. See, that's what I was thinking. Well, let's head back home then. It was raining pretty hard, but thunder's usually really loud. So I guess I just wasted a little bit of gas and panic. It's very in character for me. On the wiki, I thought it said it only follows you if it sees you. If you're inside, it will just fly around randomly. Um, I mean, if anybody wants to check that, feel free. I would not mind. God, you can tell how much of a coward I am with this character. He's only killed 54 zombies. <laughs> God, I keep forgetting that's there. Hey, did I bring a gas canister? No, I didn't. Don't drink and drive, kids. Ah, shit, where am I? I take the wrong turn? I think I did. I can never navigate these suburbs. Heli doesn't actually see, it follows you even indoors. See, that's what I thought, because it's an event, not uh, an actual entity. And that's what would make sense.
I mean, hell, even if it's just in the air over the town, should be enough to just draw a horde of zombies towards you. But no zombies around my school, so I could have just been panicking for nothing. Their descriptive language goes back and forth between event and seize the player. That's stupid. Ah, so it's just deliberately confusing. That's kind of a thing the devs do, to be honest. All right, I'm back home. Um, let's eat another quarter of this. I need to stay a little bit hungry. First aid for beginners. What about walking up and down the stairs while high? What? <laughs> I mean, that's also dangerous. Less dangerous to other people, more dangerous just to yourself. I've found all the essential books. Metalworking, electrical, carpentry. I love trapping. But you learn trapping super fast. Uh, mechanics, not as important. You said don't drink and drive. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's dangerous. Not as dangerous as drinking and driving. Drinking and driving, you can kill other people. Getting high and walking up and down the stairs, like... You might fall. You could you could be in danger of looking silly. Heli circles your location even if you were inside a closet before I arrived. Right, I, I, I've spent the entire helicopter event inside a house and they broke into the house. But that's more of a, like, zombies will surround your location, and if they don't see you, they still won't see you. So you can still hide it out. It's not like Seven Days to Die where everything knows where you are, you know? Silly this morning. You are silly every day, good lady. Alright, all of those are red. What next? Um... Trapping and mechanics. I'll read those. And uh, I usually do this off stream, but it seems like every single time I try and read off stream, like... I, something happens every time I try and read and do stuff off stream. I should get water. Going hungry for a while is okay. That's how you lose weight anyway. Going thirsty, I'm assuming, will kill you much faster. And I'd rather not be sick. I might try and make, like, walls downstairs with gates around them for, like, a garage. Um, for later on, like... Uh, grinding out mechanics. Because grinding out mechanics is time-consuming and really boring. It is more boring than this to watch, believe it or not. Oh god, where am I gonna go trapping? There's like no forests around me. I guess there's one a little bit northwest. Kinda. There we go. I need to end every single day with that chevron going down. That That is the plan. I hate that the, the the chef has this chef's hat, but it's not in-game. Why is there not a chef's hat in-game? Your hair's getting long again? I'm trying to grow it out. I want to grow it all the way out to like it was before. I've spent most of my life with really long hair. I want it again. Oh, 
Boop. And that's where I need to eat, is when it gets that last little bit there. Uh, let's eat the whole thing, because it'll probably go bad. Well, it, it doesn't go bad very fast, but it might go bad eventually. So the way to, way to lose weight in this game is not be fully satiated, ever. Always be a little bit hungry. And uh, also do a lot of exercise stuffs. I forgot to do exercise stuffs, shit. Uh, okay, we've done everything but tailoring. I don't think I found a tailoring book, did I? I found an intermediary tailor tailoring. Um... I found out that if you train up tailoring really high, you can get to 100% armor. What? You can make clothes where you are immune to bites. That is crazy. I have an... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I might be able to make the scrap bench. I don't know how to make the scrap bench. Fuck. Fuck! I need to go back to the bookstore. Well, we're gonna go back at night. Oh, wait. My chair is over here. Also, now that I've got carpentry, um, I can actually train up carpentry. Uh, which will be very useful for uh, making a bed. I could before, it'll just be three times as fast now. Books are... Books are the way. Alright, let's get some food. Uh, we got a fruit salad in here I'm gonna eat. Healthy foods. Yeah. Craft Helper doesn't tell you how to build a bench. Uh, well, you need the, the, you need the magazine to tell you how to build it. Because, like, I've got Craft Helper, yeah, and then I can go down to the metal and right-click. I know how to make these things. Uh, all of them, however, rec oh, maybe I don't need it anymore. Maybe you don't even need the scrap bench anymore, that would be amazing. What the fuck was that noise? Did y'all hear that? What the hell? It was like a squawk. It wasn't a scream. Where's my propane torch? There you are. Maybe I don't even need it anymore. Maybe I can just make things now without the scrap bench. That would be amazing. Any more metalworking? I would want to make... Machete, which takes leather strips and a file. I haven't found a file. You can... Can't you make a file? If you can, I don't know how. Screws, file. Sturdy stick, file. Um, I've got some... Leather jackets I can start taking apart. Let's just get some some leather here. In fact, I'll take this one apart too. I have two riding helmets. What am I going to do with them? <laughs> no. Oh. All right. So now I got leather strips. About ten of them, I think. Um, yeah, I need a file. I need a file, and I can't make a file. I know I'm going to need sturdy sticks. I'll make one of these since I got a plank. It'd be really nice if he t if the, the mod creator actually took off the need for the scrap bench, because it looked ugly. It looked horrendous. It was just terrible. Uh, I can make thread. Ooh, from these ripped up sheets. I got a little bit of ripped up sheet. 
I will make a little bit of thread because I need that. Get some nails. All right. Large bolts. This is just so I have this stuff on hand. I can make a I can bind scissors to a pipe, which might honestly not be a bad idea right now. Uh, on, but I cannot make a file. That was what I was looking for. Clothing store near bookstores probably has leather. Uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm thinking right now. Is I looked through all the stuff that I had and I did not have what I was looking for, so we're gonna drop stuff off. I'll come back later with more. I will keep the propane torch and garden saw on me, though. Well, it is time. We're going to go hit the bookstore. Oh, crap. Did I leave you on? No, I didn't. Okay. I thought I saw the lights on. My lights are on. My battery's still good, though. I also need to remember I do not yet... Um, have any generators? So if I see sheds like this, I need to go look at them. This is the place to find generators. And luckily, I have the key. <laughs> already read that another welder's mask always use one case i lose this one uh let's dismantle this ham radio on uh, unread angler magazine good F for fuck's sake i hate when my character like turns like that for no goddamn reason okay grab this unusable metal and the generator. First shed. Well, not, not the first shed I look in, but first shed I look in looking for a generator. And boom, it's right there. That's so great. That is really good. And this is a 20 pound seat, but can hold a 40 pound generator. So in you go. Clothing stores never have leather. No, leather you find on Zeds, unfortunately. No, oh, put it all in. There you go. Sometimes denim, which is lesser, but still an improvement. Yes, that is true. You can find denim, and you can attach denim. Uh, it will do the job, but it's not as good as leather. Oh man, this poor Gigamart. I'm hoping to come to the Enigma bookstore from the back and not attract a lot of Zeds. I'm going to go through this slowly because there's going to be a lot of them and I've got to take them out one by one. If it gets to be too much, I'm running. I'm also not so secretly hoping to find one of those uh, burger flipper hats somewhere that I can put on. And coming at night means that all the Zeds are going to be slower, which I am going to take advantage of. Uh, slower for me because I have one of those settings. Couldn't find a car. Didn't try. Didn't try. I mean, this character's got... It, it, Rem, Remy has got to be stronger eventually. No time like the present, you know? I got to work on this. Oh my goodness me. I could shoot them.
Burglar is best because hot wiring. You know what? I, I'm tired of burglar. How about that? Maybe I don't want to be a burglar. There we go. I was getting ready to run there. <laughs> it's going to be a bit heavy. We're clear? We're clear. Okay. I am going to hold on to Rebi Remy's uh, reputation as a coward. A cupcake. I don't know why I'm surprised to find food here. I'm expecting to only find just disinfectant and bandages. And apparently processed cheese? Vitamins will be very useful. Hey, I tried to clear it. Oh, the power of air pressure! Yes! Uh, the power of air pressure uh, will allow me to make guns. Why are there candles back here? Potatoes! We're in business. I now have a packet of potatoes and thus will live forever. And I've now jinxed myself now that I have said that. And I regret everything. So... Assuming Zeds don't come and eat me with a packet of potatoes, you can do a lot. Um, it, it is, uh, you are technically strafing while holding your weapon, but now in build 41, there's a sneak command, so. Take advantage, y'all. Quick, pray to R.N. Jesus. He never listens. If we pray to Randy in this chat. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Must have been next door. I'm not sure where that was. Also, my pipe has seen better days. But I probably shouldn't talk about that on stream. That's a little personal. Thought I heard you. Hey, leave my car alone. That's rude. Getting a lot of 38 special here. It's beginning to make me think that they're trying to hint at something. It sounds like a pig. I, they've got a lot of weird noises. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, there's a new uh, sound. What the? It's nighttime and it's raining. I do not know why that surprised me. I should not have sped up. You do not speed up when you're not going to hear the zombies coming. Your character will slow down on transferring stuff. No. Stop it. No. You were a tiny creature and no one is afraid of you.
Anyway, uh, if your character hears a zombie coming, it'll show up on your screen and you can, you know, take appropriate action. Uh, my character did not because it is raining and rain dampens sound a little bit. You know what? I'm going to possibly need a better weapon if this thing breaks. So let's go ahead and take this plank with us just in case. Keep it on me. Because this pipe is going to break. Fuck. That's a lot. All right. We're going to start this and we're going to be prepared to run. Maybe I should be using that 38 special. Oh, it broke. Fuck it. We're out. I'm sorry. I know this is going to hurt, Dash Bull Driver, but I need you. I need your strength. Be strong for me. There's also a chef's hat and I need it. I have no hood right now. This is going straight to engine damage, so I'm going to have to get a new vehicle eventually. I'm going to circle back around. My trailer starting to get a little unhitched, unhinged, something. There you are. It's like I'm hearing them. Where the fuck are they? Apparently I couldn't see out of my driver's side window. There we go. I hit you with a stick. Hey, beta blockers. That's nice. Here's my broken metal bar. There's something really important I need to do right now, though. There we go. And... A different pair of chef's pants if I need them. I am officially in character. I was actually really hoping to find those. <laughs> Run into sports, grab a bat, none in there. Already rated it. Phenomenal, don't you mean a chef's kiss? Oh, can I wear this too? Yes. We're gonna cook you up some pain. Yeah, I already rated the sports store, it's empty. Come to me, my love. My love books. I'm really kind of sad that there's not a librarian who just automatically starts with like faster reading. What would you put in a librarian class? Like I, I I'm, I'm kind of thinking of that now. Like, what would the librarian job get? Silent walking. Um, fast reading, nearsighted. Hmm. Did they make it now where all blunt weapons share the same skill level? Same for knife weapons. Yeah, there's short blade, and that's all knife weapons. Long blade, short blunt, long blunt. Spear is its own weapon now, and so is axe. Uh, electricity for intermediate. I don't think I have any of these, actually. Maybe I should have, like, brought a piece of paper, like, listing down what magazines and whatnot I have. But that would require, you know, 
writing the, all of the books down that I have, and I don't want to do that. Gunsmith's Journal. Raven's Notes for Bombs. Beautiful. And I mean, any extras I get will... Uh, will just turn into, like, fuel for a fire anyway, so it's not a big deal. But why don't I just... I'm just gonna grab it all. Fuck it. Like, if I don't take it with me, it'll just turn into fuel for a fire, which I'm gonna need. I see you. Somebody went to the board. You brought me beer. How kind. See, I heard her. I stopped. That's how it's supposed to work, but it's been raining, so. Okay, back in. Is the setting for the number of zombies set to normal for a play? Nope, set to high. I set it to high. Uh, with a, with a, a much lower starting count. So I had a little bit of time to set up. At about day 25, it's going to hit peak numbers. And it's just going to be overwhelming amounts of zombies everywhere. So by that time, I need to be ready. Bookstore raids, I just take all beginner and intermediate, come back later for advanced and higher. I'm greedy. Like, I'm here, why not get it now? That way I don't have to come back later, you know? And potentially run into more zombies or not be able to get in. Also, like, later on, it could be it could burn down for one reason or another. There's a lot of different things that can happen in the meantime, and I don't want to risk losing books. Books are, to me, one of the most important things in the game and in the world. Leather jacket. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. I feel like now that Remy is in uniform, he's uh, a little bit more powerful. A little bit more confident, you know? He has no trouble pushing people around, so to say, so to speak. Every time I try to read a book, I just fall asleep. I mean... I read, I read to go to sleep, too. Like, that's... That's not unusual. Alright, got that. I'm gonna drop all this stuff off, and then I'm gonna try and take some of these bookshelves for myself. So that I don't have to make them myself, you know? And we're going to see if they turn into planks or just fucking vanish like that. There's one. I need to drop off the bookshelf every time I get one. Otherwise, they're just going to disappear. Disappear. There's two. Good. I'd like to get, I guess, four would be a nice number. I don't know. But I'm going to try and get as many as I can, just because they're great storage. And I'm weird about my decorating. You know, form over function for me all the way. Disappeared. Like, it upsets me, I don't even get scrap wood out of these. They just vanish. Magically. It is also now uh, getting near daytime. Daytime is officially 9 a.m. 
where the zombies will speed up and be able to hear a bunch more. But it's bright out. So they will definitely see me. How many have I gotten so far? One? Uh, I don't know how many I've gotten so far. I'll just try and get as many. At, uh, we, we've got three at least. That's good enough. Stop being, stop, stop being weird on me. This has been a very successful loot run, and I should not be pushing it. Six shells, one for each book level, one extra one for the magazines. Um, I don't know. I, I try to separate it by read, unread, and then uh, entertainment. Is it time? It's time. This thing has done me some great work. And I'm never going to forget you, Dash Bull Driver. But it's time. If you will excuse me, sir, I'm mourning. Let me say goodbye in peace. Nice amber lamps. Yeah. Come on. Everybody? Everybody? You guys want to come in? Come on. Pay attention. Next. Thank you. Did I get them close enough that I can hit both trunks? I don't think I did. What game mode? Uh, custom. God damn, how many zombies are in this place? And I can tell this guy was the infection vector. They tried to kill him first. And he got everybody else along with him. I'm getting tired. Um, wait, I had... No, I don't have them on me. Fuck. I was going to say I had vitamins, but not on me. Uh, this is a custom one. Uh, we basically took, like, uh, Apocalypse and made it... Bit... Uh, a, a, a little bit different. Um, instead of uh, instead of rare loot, it's it's extra rare loot. Um, there's it starts out with a little bit lower. Um, it starts out with a little bit lower uh, population, so that I have some time to build up. Um, and infection. It's the music. The music sounds like it's got a helicopter in the background. God damn it. Come on, lady. I don't have all day. Oh my god. Why is there so many people in this fucking bank? I'm not even interested in the bank. Anyway, yeah, it's Apocalypse, but a little bit easier for me. Uh, and uh, also Infection Vector is almost instant. Oh, they're just not close enough to each other. Fuck. Whatever. Wait. I heard something. Thought I heard something. I did hear something. Hello. What do you have for me? It's a hunting knife. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Did you change zombie speed? They are a little bit slower and weaker. Uh, but the numbers are higher. So so basically, the the, ch the, the, the the thing is, um, lots and lots of zombies, but I'm very likely to be overwhelmed. That's the plan. Call it mostly apocalypse. I was trying to go for a very day of the dead feel, where zombies are all shamblers. Oh, God. 
<sighs> shamblers and lurchers, you know. And easy to take out, but there's just bucket loads of them. No infection? There is infection. In fact, the infection is more deadly. You know, I was really against the devs prioritize animations and such. I was so wrong. Oh, yeah. The game is, 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 is decades different right now. I don't even recognize it. And I just can't seem to stop playing it. I'm almost three months into Winter is Coming Challenge. It's fucking brutal. Dude. You are a... You are a god amongst men if you can pull that off. That's harsh. Alright. I did not bring my gas tank. Son of a bitch! I did it again. I played with your heart. You lost in the game. Oh my god, how many shells did I get? Apparently four. God damn it. And let me guess, this has no gasoline? <laughs> of course not. Why would it have gasoline? That's silly. All right, bull driver. I kind of wanted to get you home anyway, but let's let's go get some gasoline. I've killed 1,400 zombies trying not to lose a single area for a generator. I live off nothing but fish. Um, I'm surprised you haven't... I mean, I guess you couldn't really do trapping at that point, could you? You know what? I'm actually going to have two different things going here. I'm going to attach you to this. You are no longer weaponized, Dash Bull Driver. You are now a camping van. Fishing is great, does me fine. Okay. Um, I don't know if you're playing with nutrition or not. That was my only real like concern. If you're playing with nutrition, uh, fish won't be able to carry you through uh, certain certain vitamins you need and whatnot. I haven't seen the inside of another building that isn't my base in so long. I mean, that's kind of what you do during the winter. All right, where's this goddamn... Come on. There's one. Did I only have the one? And it's only at... God, it is only empty. All right, well, um, I don't want to take gas out of the dash bull driver, so it looks like we're siphoning gas out of cars. I'm not playing with nutrition. That's smart. I am, and I kind of regret it. Walk two, and off we go. And Remy, if you could just, like, do me a favor and just hold your mouth open and and turn it upwards, and I won't have to feed you water. I won't have to worry about getting you water. What does nutrition do? Nutrition is a new part of the game where you have to watch your fats, carbohydrates, sugars, all that stuff. Eat healthy food, otherwise you will get sick. Um, or not gain weight. I really want to successfully build a fortress of solitude in Riverside that covers several houses. But with zombies climbing up our cars, I mean, you can still do it. You just gotta work at it. My biggest catch is 120 hunger. Whoa. I think, like, the biggest catch I ever got uh, was about 62? Eating 3,200 butter in one go. Nothing wrong. Yeah, see, like, that that's kind of what I'm talking about. <laughs> it wouldn't really work with nutrition on. Like, I have it on, but I haven't had a character live long enough to really matter yet. But I usually eat pretty healthy. Unless I'm feasting on nothing but potatoes for days. 
Which does occasionally happen. Yeah, 62 is a very solid catch, yeah. Uh, what weapons have you leveled? Uh, on this character, I think I've accidentally been leveling short blunt, but against my will because I found nothing else. Oh god, I forget how fast these things are. My first time using short blade, I think spear and short blade are the best weapons. Spear absolutely is. If it's one on one, be very careful about that because it's unreliably. It's very unreliable. Uh, there's a mod that you might want to look into if you're really interested in doing blade weapons because there's not really an option for it in game. Um, but like, there's called there's a there's a mod called Scrap Weapons where you can take scrap metal and other things and make weapons out of them. It's fantastic. I love it, and it's actually very balanced. I'm kind of working on it right now. I haven't used the spear and hordes. Don't J do not. Um, the spear has a problem where randomly. Uh, where you don't have control. XQ, check, Twitch, P... Wow. That, that's a name. Thank you for the follow. Anyway. Um, uh, there's a thing about the Spirit's durability I'll talk to in a second. I'll talk about it in a second. Um, drop you here. There we go. Got a generator now. Spears, either you swing and you can keep moving, or you randomly, and I mean completely randomly, will stop and stab with it, and the stab is an instant kill, but you don't want to stop moving if you're in a horde. So, it can be very, very dangerous. So, basically, I only use spears in a very certain situation. Spears, however, are one of the best weapons. Now, uh, your spear durability, initial durability, is determined by your, sh your spear skill and your carpentry skill combined with maintenance. Leveling those three will uh will greatly greatly increase the durability on your spear to the point where they almost never break also the scrap weapons mod has uh specifically a uh a metal spear you can make fyi stone knives are op and so easy to make simple forging they do as much damage as a hunting knife really i actually didn't know that Yeah, I don't... I, I... I'm a coward, or at least I'm becoming a coward. I don't want zombies close to me. Three bags of books, and I'm gonna climb a rope. <laughs> like, it ain't nothing. How much does stone knives weigh? Almost nothing. Yeah. Stone knives are, are pretty good. Uh, I, I don't like them because they break really easily and they're very short ranged. If I'm going to go and be an expert at any weapon in this game, it's got to be a long range weapon. Like that, that's just what I'm doing. It's got to be a ranged weapon. Uh, I accidentally just read that. I love the new double click. I love the new double click context. Okay, dismantle these. Drop a bunch of crap off. I love that I found another welder's mask. That makes me super happy. I found a lot of good stuff on this run. It was a really damn good run. 
Uh, Skizzers can be dropped. Infected sample. Uh, let's eat this whole cupcake. Reason why knives are good, because you can one-shot them from the front or behind. I don't know if there's a value of chance of one his death. I, I am, uh, if I'm planning on weaponry, it's gotta be stuff that can take out mobs. That's my main worry, is mobs. Yeah, exactly. One-shotting in a horror 20 means that you're standing still. And if you're standing still, guess what? You're dead. That's my worry. Oh, hold on. I, I don't want to drop... The empty gardening can. Drop you. Okay. And then the sleeping tablets. The rest of this is food or gardening. I can take groups of 15 zombies as long as it's safe to walk backwards. I can kite and kill huge amounts of zeds. I just, I'm not as confident unless I have a long range weapon. Like, that's just, that's just me. I, unless I've got like a two handed long range weapon, I'm just, I don't want to, you know? It's, it's just dangerous. I am going to have to plant those potatoes very soon. Had to make yourself beautiful. Shouldn't have been a hard trip. Surprised it took you so long. Already halfway there. You can attack and move animation, but there's just some animations which, like, it just stops you where you are and doesn't give you a choice. And it's terrifying. Like, not having control over that is so goddamn scary. Starting late, starting at late would be scary. I mean, like, I started as a chef due to popular demand. So I started with some short blade, short, that, 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 short blade skill. So it's not as bad as it could be. Go daggers, don't stop. I've got a, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Uh, the, the, there's a, there's a specific thing with the, uh, the, the scrap weapons mod that I plan to be using. So I'm not particularly worried about it. Basically with the scrap weapons mod, I can make a machete. Did I drop one of my bags? No, I equipped a hammer primary. For some reason, putting up a bookshelf that way. That's weird. Okay, drop this stuff. Um, ooh, thunder. Filling out my water, and I'm realizing I need to take some time right now. <sighs> I was really worried my water went out for a second there. And I need to plant these potatoes while it's raining. I tried short blunt before, and I think it's the worst of all weapons. I think I love short blunt. Uh, there are a lot of people who say the short blunt is the best. It, it really depends on how you play. Um, because short blunt is the only way to get. Where's my damn trowel? What the fuck? What happened to my trowel? Uh, because short blunt is the is the way to get uh, clean and un uh, undamaged clothing from zombies. Late game, do you go guns or may? Oh, always guns. Always guns. Uh, or, <laughs> sorry, take that back. Rewind. Never guns. That's what I meant to say. Never guns. <laughs> oh, I put crap in there. God damn it. Guns are loud and just attract attention. You do not 
want to attract attention. So, never guns. I mean, in some situations where you don't worry about zombies being on top of you, guns are okay. But generally, you want to try and avoid using guns at all. I do have a silencer mod. Uh, plus the scrap guns mod, uh, every gun you get is silenced. Uh, I've tried it. It's very balanced, actually. Uh, the, the, the... Oh, no, I need a shovel. I don't have any dirt. Oh, okay. You know what? Fuck this. I'll do that tomorrow. It should still be raining by tomorrow. I never got to use guns. It's hard to get accurate hits fast enough. There's a trick to it. Um, basically, the longer you're aiming the gun, the better your aim gets. So you gotta kind of walk backwards while the zombies are walking towards you, aiming it. Didn't you get like 25 with a shotgun in your personal game? Uh, oh, you're saying uh, 250. I made a veteran. I have my veteran in my personal game, and she's gotten over 250 kills with a shotgun. Uh, because I just went, fuck it. Plus, like, panic reduces your aim, so, like, veteran's really good for that. I got my gun skill, like, level 5 last time, but died before I found a silencer. Uh, if you have a silencer mod, you make them. Hi there. I see you. Please excuse me, I'm gonna grab this, uh, shelf and then kill you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no, wrong way. Damn it. You know, go with level nimble. Uh, no, I don't. Sorry. I heard nimble improves combat speed. I heard it improves uh, slightly run speed and... Uh, it was run speed and leaping over fences and stuff. And going around obstacles and through obstacles. Let's check that actually. I want to make sure. I want to make baseless claims. Well, we can check on Reddit. Run while in crouch mode 15 meters away from zombies. Oh, oh, you could always do the project line or the the uh uh the ambiguous amphibian uh power leveling. How fast you move while sneaking decreases the chance of tripping. Visibility you lose while aiming increases the speed you move while in combat stance. Oh, you can level up by sneaking. Yeah, just, you just do the power level in then. Uh, here, let's... Will power leveling work without car barricades? Oh, psh, yeah. The way he does it, um, I don't even know if I can find the video for it, actually. Uh, anyway, Ambiguous Amphibian is the one that you, uh... Behold the... He's the one that you want to look at for power leveling freaking anything. Yes, this, this, I think is it. Um, so you gather up a bunch of Zeds somehow, you set something like this, like an alarm going. Run away so they can't catch you. Hide and wait for them to gather up. And then you just sneak near the mob. That's it. This level's nimble and lightfoot and sneaking. That's it. 
What was I doing? Right, my last oak shelf. I can't run anymore. Yeah, it, it levels nimble. It'll level up, but not by much. I mean, you asked a way to level it. That's... Either that or you do the same thing, but in combat stance by holding right click. Like that, that would work. Since it's also a combat stance thing. I just realized I haven't been playing the 40 bird. I've been playing the 40 version yet. How do I get 41? Oh. Uh, if you walk inside your base and sneak combat stance, nimble will go up. Okay, well. Alright, uh, to get to build 41, go to your Steam page. Right click on Project. Right click on Project Zomboid. Go to Properties. Betas. Down click on this and go to build 41, build 41 beta. It's much better than 40. Like, worlds better. I know the crappy way just seems way too slow. I mean, the leveling is supposed to be slow. That's sadly part of the game. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. And then we're working. I'm gonna sleep for a single hour because there's a watch somewhere. Dismantle all watches. But is it my watch? No, it's not my, where's this watch? There. I can't get back to sleep, son of a bitch. Well, we meant to do this anyway. It's time for sit-ups. I could do burpees. Um, my fitness needs to go up first, though. I'm, I'm actually not half bad in strength. I'm going to do as many as we can, since I'm going to be working on other things tomorrow. I'm going to do a lot of sit-ups, and that can't get back to sleep. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll read a comic book. Can I sleep now? There we go. Sleep. I think if you try to level nimble, it'd be like 20 experience a day. It's supposed to be slow. Just kind of how it works. Look at a bit of a mess there, my dude. Yeah, I am hemophobic. I probably should clean up. Is this character hemophobic? No, he's not. But I mean, hey, I got water. I might as well, might as well use it. Like the water isn't shut off yet. You got to keep your chef's whites sparkling. Let's get something to eat. Um, I got another fruit salad here. I got a lot of fruit salads here. Just eat those until I'm full. There we go. Good enough. Since I am still trying to lose weight, how am I doing on there? I am at 90. I lost a kilo. Yay, I lost a kilo. All right, what do I want to work on right now? Uh, organizing books. Organizing books. Oops. All right, this first ones will be unread. So pretty much every advanced book. Did I read Farming for Beginners? I better have. I am farming. I did. I did read Mechanics for Beginners. I did. Good. Okay. Trapping. All of these are read. They better be read. They're magazines. And those are all entertainment. Entertainment will go way down here. And this shelf will be for red. And not that sheet of paper. 
sheet of paper I'm actually going to start putting entertainment. Okay. Uh, wow, that's a lot of books. Holy crap. I did not realize I had gotten so many just regular novels. All, right, all of this can go in here. I could just organize it off the ground, actually. Uh, red, unread. Unread. That what? What is that one? Scrap pickaxe. Okay. Attach pipes. Tin can club. Attach gears to pipe. Attach dumbbell to pipe. Neato. Red, 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 red. All right. The rest of these. Fuck. That might have been one of my tables. Hello? It was not one of my tables. I don't have to worry. <laughs> God, I need to replace those with something. <laughs> someday. Someday. Okay. Uh, floor. Uh, expert, expert, expert. We'll grab the extras and put them somewhere as well. I'm probably going to take care of those later, though. Farming. I have not read fishing. I know, it's the most exciting part of our stream, where I sit here and do nothing but read and look at books. I'm a little of, of a bibliophile. What can I say? But Remy is completely outfitted. He's got a uniform. Nobody will be able to tell that he's secretly a rat. I should probably also be working on fitness while I'm doing this. Da, 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 da. And then sit. Continue reading until this bar fills again. Stand, do an hour of sit-ups, which we'll do as much as I can, really. It's not going to do the full thing. But we're looking at hot, at full exertion to up my fitness. Because full exertion will also up fitness as well as the workout. And then this will refill as long as this bar is below, as long as my fatigue is below a certain point. Oh, I finished the book! Oh. That, I... I'm used to being a slow reader. <laughs> All right, uh, back to work then. Uh, red, 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 unread. I don't exactly know the point of the ham radios. I've always been kind of wondering about that, but I'm assuming it should be an NPC thing in the future. I know that you can, like, put batteries in them. And, like, uh... Listen to, like, emergency broadcast station and, and some civilian stations at first. All right, all of these were red. Make sure they go on the right one. But like first you gotta find the station and I have an ambulance. And then like batteries only last like a few days, so could be more useful. Oh hey, somebody broke into the downstairs here. That's fun. No emergency broadcast station. Okay. Worth a shot. Hello? Huh. 
I don't know what's going on in there. Hello! <laughs> oh shit! Nope. I'm too tired for this. Bye. Okay, uh, time to close the door and sleep. Uh, they might take down my rope there, so I'm gonna actually pull that up too. And they took it down as I was walking up to it. Fuck. I've got other clothes I can make into that. That's just obnoxious. Not really a detriment. Either that or they're getting rid of the player player chat unless you have one, which on one hand would be interesting. Actually, that's already in game. Um, <laughs> that's actually already a thing, Chaos Mage. Uh, I mean, you can always talk on Discord and all that, but like, if you get uh, walkie talkies, you can talk to other people on the same channel, listen in on other people's chats uh, for like voice chat and stuff. I should have made that out of socks. Where are my nails? Oh, there's my trowel. I'm looking for you. I don't need you right now. Where are my nails? Probably help if I actually organize these again. I always forget that. We'll be in crafting. Nails. It is pretty cool. Uh, also, if you're using in-game voice chat, um, the Zeds will hear you and uh, react accordingly, which is... Well, I'm going to leave that up to your opinion. How are we doing? Empty. Good. Anybody, anybody here? Hello? Oh, you found me! Ollie Ollie Oxen free! I like your uh, I like your backpack. I think I'll keep it. Ah, you found me. Good for you. There's a lot of you. There we go. I am going to actually make all of their clothing into sheet ropes, just in case I need it in the future. It's always good to have extra. We'll just leave those right there. I don't know why I'm collecting the school bags, but I am. More leather strips are always good. All right, back to what I was doing. There's only a couple books left on the ground here. All of them are unreads, so we're just gonna go shove those in there. And now I go through and look for duplicates. And these are fire fuel. Because you only ever need one of everything. I feel like I just missed something. Nope, I just got a lot of metalworking magazines. That one metalworking magazine.
There we go. And there's all my extras. Well, no, I'm not done yet. There's more books over there. They're in the bookshelf. Uh, but these will go... I guess outside. We'll just leave these books. That, that doesn't feel right. <laughs> that doesn't feel right. I'm going to leave these on the floor over here. Uh, leaving books in the rain. Even books I don't need. Even fake digital books. Does not feel correct. That's just how much I love books. What am I going to say? You know, what can I say? Red, 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 red. Okay. Red, 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 red. Already red. Uh, put away the entertainment books first. Because those are very important. And then we'll go to the red books. And at least get rid of the magazines. Um, I've read Electricity and Carpentry, First Aid, Origin for Beginners. And the rest of these can go over here because they're all above beginner level. The only thing I need above beginner level is cooking, so I don't really have to worry too much. And now there should be far less duplicates to go through. If it doesn't say grab one, then it's not a duplicate. That's it's an easy way to organize them. I don't know why I'm so proud of how I organize my books, but like they're the only thing I really organize. I, I'm usually such a stickler for organizing everything in games. You can ask anybody I've ever played a team game with. I'm always the one that takes it over, and I get really, really upset about it. <laughs> Let's eat an entire tub of ice cream. I mean, I'm trying to lose weight, but I'm still losing weight, actually. Still working. Oh, uh, you got to put an S at the end there, Adam Baird. Doing some setups. I go when I sit next to a chair. If you sit down on the ground when you're next to a chair and hit rest, you rest quicker. Because the games, like the devs still have not programmed it so that we can, you know, sit in a chair. Believe it or not. Now, what do I want to work on here? I've got to set a goal for myself. Uh, oh, handmade pistol. I need gun parts to do that. And four metal working. Gear mace. No, I want to make a blade. Nail bomb. Oh my god. That's awesome. Salvaged machete. I need files. How do you make a file? Shrapnel shell? <laughs> that looks amazing. Scrap sword. I need a file. I can make a scrap pickaxe if I had carpentry one. Sharpened, sh sharpened stop sign, which I think is an axe. Still needs a file. Homemade decoy. That's just awesome. Salvage warhammer. Slam fire shotgun. I can make one of those right now. I just need ripped up sheets. Um, yeah, I'll I'll sacrifice the hoodies. I can make a shotgun. At least I should be able to. Why can't I make one? I guess I need a lead pipe to do it. Or another metal pipe. Damn. Whatever. What I'm looking for is... Needs a file, and I don't know where to get a file or how to make one. 
Uh, that takes aiming skill. I could do a little bit of tailoring, but... Actually, I should probably do some tailoring and, like, attach a bunch of leather to what I'm wearing, huh? Shotgun buckshot. Yeah, I could disable gu I could disassemble guns if I had metalworking four. Uh, let's do all this electrical work, even though I don't really have anything that you can do with electrical. I'm not exactly sure what electrical is for, to be honest. I think it's only for engineers. I think only engineers can really do something with electrical. Okay, what do I got? Uh, a lot of this stuff. Like, I'm always collecting stuff for electrical, but I've never done anything with it. But I've never played an engineer to a point where they can actually be useful. Uh, rip you up. Yeah, we'll do some tailoring work here. And as much as it pains me, because we're not going to be technically as much in uniform anymore, there's no way in hell that I'm going around in just a chef's uniform. So we're going to work on tailoring a little bit. Did I get a tailoring book? I did not. That's fine. Can I sew leather patches? Oh, I need a needle. I didn't think of that. Anyone know if there are miss, uh, mods to help you with fences and such? I don't believe there are yet. Have I found a needle at all? Crap, I really haven't, huh? Damn. Okay, well, no tailoring then. I guess let's do a little bit of work on uh, carpentry for a bit. I could go back to the fashion bell. Uh, the fashion bell actually probably has a needle in it. Any clothing shop can really have a needle in it. Wait, what does this have in it? No, it still has junk in it. There we go, that's my workroom. Do I want to make this just into an enormous bedroom? It feels weird. <laughs> I mean, maybe if I put like walls and stuff up, I could make this into a bedroom. Having a huge bedroom just seems like it would be a pain to, uh, to heat. Come to think of it, I don't actually know how that works. How does the heating work? Is it dependent on, like, do you need more heat in a room? Does heat spread? Does it take more fuel to heat an area? I, I don't actually know. How would I heat in there? I need to get antique stoves, really. Uh, let's just start piling wood stuffs in here. Can I make metal walls yet? 
metal bars, welding rods, metal working three to make metal, metal wall frames. Um, crates. I need a lot of welding rods. Where do you get welding rods? Do I need to just go hit the the warehouses, you know? Hmm. Also, I'm probably going to be able to just go steal some lockers. I can just go do that. Like, I've never, li literally never worked uh, with metalworking before, so I don't know exactly how it works. Can you make welding rods? I mean, welding rods usually need to be a very specific kind of metal, so I'm assuming not. All I know right now is I've got to find... I've got planks and nails. Uh, if I did carpentry, wall, wall frames, carpentry two to do that. Okay. So I couldn't do that. I can't make walls yet. Um, I guess I could go out to the surrounding houses and work on dismantling things. I just I really don't want to leave my house. It's nighttime. I should be fine. Or I could stay in the school. Just dismantle stuff in here. Yeah, that works. If you're going to know how something goes together, you got to take it apart first. How do you think doctors will learn? I don't know how I feel about the fact that I just said that. Carpentry level two. I can make walls now. Crappy walls, but I'm going to keep going until I'm at least three. And then I'm going to go read a book for it, because there's a lot of stuff down here that I can take apart. It is nighttime. So uh, Zeds could easily find me. I think I killed the only ones that were nearby, though. <laughs> Schools are a great opportunity to take stuff apart, though. You gotta love it. Basically, my plan is to fight back against the zombie hordes with skill. And apparently not by fighting. Because, <laughs> like, let's be honest, I've been playing a coward so far, and it's working, which kind of implies that I'm not usually as careful as I could be when fighting back against zombies. I think I just expect the rule of cool to keep me alive. I mean, note, it does not. Oh, said kitchen that I worked for so long in. I might want to actually take these fridges and move them upstairs to be barricades. And now all I can do is learn from you.
I'm going to keep the fridges. Uh, I'm realizing that, like, fridges are one of the best containers. And walls. It would be a dis it, it would be wrong to uh, take them apart like this. This stuff, though, this stuff can go. Getting a lot of metal out of this. It's good stuff. Apparently these are made of wood. Could have sworn they were plastic. But like most games these days, plastic is not in the game. Which I never really think about, but it's kind of strange, isn't it? God, this character's been alive for 15 days, and he's killed 100 zombies, and that's it. Usually I'm doing that by, like, day four. But this is what happens when I don't make a combat-oriented character. I don't play them as a combat-oriented character. I play them as a skill character. And uh, apparently they live longer. It's not very exciting, though. I will admit... I'm fully expecting that Zeds are going to come through any second now. Especially since I just walked in glass for no reason. But I don't know why my character wants to be on this side. Oh, probably because of where the mouse was when I clicked. <laughs> De her. Carpentry 3. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's work towards Metalworking 3, and then I'll go up and read books. Ooh, a garbage bag. It's like, I could still be running, and if I could just read both of those books in a row, it's all I really need to do. Plus, there's lots of lockers, and lockers count towards metalworking. I do want to take some lockers and take them upstairs. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, but later. I'll I want like I guess four lockers that will hold gear, clothing, stuff like that. All right. How much are these worth a piece? Or 174? About almost four points apiece. Not bad. I mean, they always do call schools places of higher learning. It's a good thing that I'm learning. I just got a little bit of electrical from that. From a... From a paper towel dispenser? What? I mean, I guess it has like a little bit of mechanical parts in it, but nothing electrical. Somebody call the devs. I have concerns. Uh, nothing metal in here. I need to go to a classroom and take apart desks and chairs. I need to part take apart chairs again. There's got to be a way to make welding rods. I've seen people go, like, super high in metalworking. But, like, where do they get the welding rods? Because, like, that's what you need for everything metalworking. Oh, 
Scissors. So I feel like I'm missing something, you know? Uh, looked it up. Heat is based on how close you are to a heat source. Oh, so I just put an antique stove next to my bed and I'll be fine. All right. I mean, like, I spend all my time in this game preparing for winter. I've never seen winter in this game. Could somebody look up for me welding rods and, like, see if there's a way to make them? Or if I'm doing something wrong when it comes to metalworking? Because I just, I feel like I'm always lacking metal rods. And that metalworking might be awesome if it weren't for the metal rods. So close. Oh my god. How many chairs do I have to take apart to be intermediate with metalworking? Pretty sure I'm an expert in taking apart lockers by now. Could I also say, this is an awesome base. Like, I never really took this base seriously, but it's pretty damn good. I mean, for skills, anyway. It's also, like, right in the center of town, and I do not like places right in the center of town. I guess I could move out of town if I want to. Someplace closer to the river. Or like a house off in the wilderness. It's uh, often actually a good idea to not live in the middle of a city. Because you're kind of constantly fighting and defending if you have to. And eventually them Zeds are going to find me. And uh, I'm going to have to defend my home. So maybe I should actually think about moving out. If I do, I want the materials to do it, though. Uh, make, like, a large base wherever I'm going. Even if you don't have your Zeds set to urban focused, they will always congregate most around cities. Finally! Jesus, that took forever. All right, let's carry as much as we can upstairs. So, like, farms out in the wilderness, houses out in the forest, best places to go. I mean, now that I've actually set up, I suppose I could actually go back to the farmhouses in West Point. The, the mansions, the brick mansion that I lived at and kept dying at. We could go there. I'm actually set up beforehand. Damn. Maybe I was just doing it backwards. What do y'all think? Should I uh, head back there? Maybe Remy was the uh, the equation, was the secret to that equation. Maybe I just needed to be a coward. I gained barely anything in fitness today. I don't know, I feel like I've done so much here, you know? Like, I've got the gardening started and all that, but those houses, they barely ever get any attention from Zeds. Um, oh, I need to eat. I am starving. Like, literally taking damage from, from starving right now. Oh, boy. Do you have a generator? I do have a generator. 
I could probably work on finding another one. Probably should, really. Oh, I need a knife. Uh, I don't have a knife. How do I not have a knife? Kniff? Nerfa? Knife. Here we go. I got this bread and it's going to go bad soon. So let's, uh, it's not fresh anymore. What the fuck was that noise? I should make some sandwiches. Uh, let's dice some lettuce. Dice some onion up. And let's see. I hate the font in the UA this game. Me too. Me too. Butter. Lettuce. Some cheese. Some on some onion, and that should finish it off. Bell pepper sandwich. Unhappiness plus 35. Why? What the hell? Fuck it. You're starving. Stop complaining. What a burger. I can add corn to a burger. I don't understand this game. It's the butter. Apparently, it's the butter. Oh well, I'll read a book and I'll feel better about it. The proper pronunciation is Kunife. Kunife. Buttered toast. If that doesn't make me happen, nothing will. Why? It's buttered toast. Butter toast is like the best thing in the world. And now I'm horrifically depressed. Cuz of toast? What is wrong with this game? I am upset. It's buttered toast. You take that back. How dare you? And then I read two books and I'm better. Being sad doesn't really affect much. Uh, uh, it does, actually. Uh, being sad um, makes every action slower and makes it harder to go to and stay asleep. Being happy is actually super buku, buku important, so... So, no votes on moving to, uh, to the other places? I could. Whatever happened to my shovel? Oh, I know what happened to my shovel. Like, it'd be more defensible. Because here, I've just got to kind of just make walls upon walls upon walls. That's all I can really do to defend this place. Eventually, it will be overrun. Right, we need to read. Fuck. Fuck reading, man. Really hope I have these books. Uh, carpentry for intermediates, good. And then we need metalworking for intermediates. I don't really care one way or the other. I thought this space is kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool as well. I'm more just looking towards the future. Once we get near peak, it's going to be overrun. And that's... I do want to see how this place goes. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That's all I needed was like one person saying no or yay.
It's interesting we haven't seen anything like this from you. Because I'm usually trying to make the cheesiest bases possible. Yeah, right now I want to make metal walls. And then just stack up a bunch of furniture in that hallway. And just basically block off that whole hallway and hope that I can convince the Zeds to not go down that hallway. That's my plan. All right, we finished one book. I'm going to go get some water, work out. You know, you got to take a break. The brain is a muscle. Hey, let's just drop this bag for now. The brain is a muscle, and I am working up a sweat. Apparently somebody is shooting Zuds. I... Sounds like a mistake to me. Sit. Sit. No, not you, Willow. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said sit, and she looks at me like she's all confused. Want to say hi? Because we're just reading right now, and nothing exciting is happening. We say hi, Willow. Oh, God. What is with my camera lately? We say hi, Willow. We love for baby. Godzilla Who are you talking to? The dog. <laughs> She's very concerned right now. Apparently, I have gone crazy. But she's getting cuddles. She's okay with it. Big fluffer pup. Down we go. Good girl. Now you have to give her snacks? I No, she doesn't get fed like that. She got her cuddles and pets. That's all she needs. She's a very simple creature. All right, metalworking and carpentry, the two hardest skills to level and some of the two most important skills to level. Uh, I've read books for them. Do I have a cooking for intermediates? I feel like I should because who of who I am. I still haven't found a cooking for intermediate. Wow. What can I make right now? Uh, crates are metalworking four. I don't know if they hold more than regular crates, though. It's the walls and fencings that I really need to pay attention to. And that's take a lot of welding rods. Ah. Uh, wooden crates, plank three, nails three. I can make those. I should also probably uh, work on some rain collectors. Planks, nails, carpentry four. Okay, so we gotta work in carpentry again. Um, I've got everything I need. My propane torch. Ha My propane torch has taken like no durability. It's still got all of its fuel remaining. That seems wrong. I am really running low on food. I think this is we got just mostly canned stuff. No, I'm actually running low on food. What? Maybe I do need to hit the... Um... Hit the grocery store. I hadn't thought of that. I hadn't thought I needed to. The fuck was that? Well, a lot of food in there, at least. I guess we go hit the grocery store today. Well, maybe tomorrow, because I'm incredibly hideously tired. I could just vitamin my way out of it. I know what to do. Hold on. I've got 30 tea bags. I'll just make myself incredibly depressed and incredibly caffeinated. Yeah, problem solved.
All right, time to go uh, load up, gear up, and go hit some some places. Um, after we read a comic book. And then uh, the rest of it will be filled up. Uh, the rest of my joy will be filled up by killing zombies because that works. You can eat anything that isn't raw or poison, falsely that makes you sad or stressed because you're already limited to full. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that not a lot of people realize. Like getting sick, it will make it harder for combat. But like, if you're just sitting around doing nothing, drink tainted water, eat rotten food, it won't kill you. Well, rotten food might give you food poisoning, which might eventually kill you, actually. I'm not sure on that one. Don't quote me. I don't know how food poisoning works in this game. All right. I'm here. Let's start clearing out zombies. I am super duper caffeinated right now. Remy has eaten tea bags and is now jittery. Gimme. Tea bags are really OP. And plus, if you make them into tea, it doesn't give you as much caffeine. That's always made me weird. That, that, that's always been, always been weird. Because that's not how caffeine works. That's not how tea works. God damn it, there's a fucking helicopter outside my house, and I thought... I thought it was in game. Do tea bags have caffeine? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of it, actually. I drink tea every day. Because I can't have normal caffeine. That was a lot of metal. Oh, smorgasbord, I believe is the proper term we're looking for here. We're not going to really... We're going to find a lot of dry foods in here. Um, until my plants really get going. Um, I'm gonna have to be relying on food that I find. So any, so we're gonna get you getting a lot of rotten food. Uh, the refrigerated food will still be fine since we still have electricity, but it's not gonna last much longer. Here I thought I was just some idiot pulling, putting weeds into water. No, no, tea is not only tasty and healthy for you, but it also at the same time can have caffeine. I drink green tea. If uh, I feel good, I will have black tea. Not as much caffeine as coffee, but coffee has way too much caffeine normally, so... <sighs> this is going to feel good. This is how you level. Who needs to create when you can destroy? I'm pretty sure I can put this use the unusable metal into actual stuff. Pretty sure. Fingers crossed. Um, actually, if I could, I could do it right here. Um. Right, there's like a forge or something you make, isn't there? Yeah, there's like a forge or something that I can make to uh, from the Scrap Weapons mod to put that all together.
I have flour and yeast. I can make bread. Now, I've got some kind of weird sensitive stomach thing going on that the doctors still have yet to figure out. Uh, but that's why I drink a lot of tea. Other people get coffee. There are some coffees I can drink, but not every day. I miss coffee. I used to drink coffee. And then my stomach just sort of started bleeding, you know. And once that happened, it was kind of just just unanimously decided that I shouldn't have coffee anymore. What are you going to do? Uh, rotten bread. I will take all the rotten food because I kind of want to start on composting, too, if I'm going to be living mostly off farming. And there's going to be, sadly, a lot of rotten food in here. I'm not Drew. Hey, how you doing? I do want to take the bowls with me. I do use a lot of bowls. I thought cold brew worked. Cold brew does work if I have it like one to maybe two days a week. Otherwise, it starts to eat away at my stomach. I had heartburn that a bottle of Tums per day wasn't touching. Not even prescription meds work. I had desperate, tried organic apple cider vinegar. That's a good idea. Took three tablespoons instead of three teaspoons. I mean, it's not too too much over, but it is an acid. So, how was the hospital trip? That it. We're good. Okay. I just realized I haven't been hit by a Zed this entire time that I've been in this place. Where the hell are all the zombies? Actually cur cured my psoriasis that I've had for 30 years and the heartburn. Really? Huh. wonder if I had to try that. I was uh, taking uh, aloe, like uh, aloe gel, for like a long time, and uh, that I I love it. It's tasty to me, anyway. Apparently, it's a very uh, acquired taste to just drink straight aloe. But I enjoyed it. Never would have believed it. Never was one for home remedies. Uh, yeah, no, I've I've done a lot of home remedies. Um, I got rid of gallstones at one point with a home remedy, and I did not expect it to work. I thought it was just hokey, and, like, it fucking worked. Like, they did full ultrasound and everything, found out I had gallstones. We're talking about taking my gallbladder out, and a friend suggested a five-day apple juice fast with a couple other things, and, like, it worked. Not something you expect to work. But apparently it ate, the gallstones were small enough that it like, it ate them down. And uh, I was able to pass them. Yeah, I'll have to try the vinegar thing and uh, see if it works for my constant, constant stomach problems. Because like, I would think like, vinegar is acidic. It, it doesn't sound like it would work, but I'm no doctor. I just, I kill zombies. That's my career. 
It's, it's not really much of a retirement plan. <laughs> That would be rough. Yeah, uh, a nothing but apple juice for uh, four days straight was... The first day was horrible. After that, it was actually not bad. I lost a lot of weight, too. Should try that again. I should do that again just to lose weight. That's carpentry? These are not made of wood. Apparently these are made of wood. Psh. I know these are made of wood and glass. Apparently you don't get the glass back and it makes no noise. I had the psoriasis thing from 8 years old until my 30s. I wasn't even taken up with the skin condition. It was bad. My skin cracked and bled almost my whole life. Another month that stopped. That's amazing. I mean, you might have also, like, aged out of it. You can do that with, uh, with psoriasis. Rarely. I know some allergies you can level... You can level... You can age out of. You can't level out of them. Wooden glass uh, and laced with metal, but I'm not getting any metal out of it. That's what bothers me. By the way, hi, Arujo. Shouldn't turn the lights on in this place. Attract every zombie for miles. Weird that it coincided with the vinegar, though, right? Like, it, 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 it might have been, it might not have been. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to make claims. <laughs> It could have been any number of factors, but uh, a change in body chemistry uh, will cause effects like that. So it's actually more likely than vinegar, just completely changing your body chemistry. Uh, hi, sir. D do you require help? I'm gonna steal your jacket. I just mugged a man. I feel like I should feel something about that, but I've become very jaded to killing people. Maybe I should think about my life. Like, I murder a lot of folk and then eat them in other games. Um, and it's, it's not really changing now that I'm in Project Zomboid. I mean, yeah, they were dead beforehand, but, hey, potato. I'm gonna eat this entire potato. All right, now onto the actual food that I can actually eat. Ooh, rice. Rice will last you a long time in this game. Wait, I can't make a lockpick out of that? Weird. I, I read the lockpick book. Huh. I don't know. Really, there's, there's things that my doctors want to do, which I am avoiding doing, and that's my fault. Um... That would potentially figure out more things on what's wrong with my health. Because there's there, it's very clear I've got some kind of autoimmune disease, and we've been trying to do every single test to try and figure it out. But I've also got a problem where I keep swapping from doctor to doctor because, well, I live in America, and insurance sucks. We'll, like, have insurance for, like, I don't know, a month? Maybe two? And then we won't have it for the rest of the year because they keep fucking around on us. Ooh. Uh, I will break you. Hooray! I have a spear.
I need to just go, like, marry somebody in Canada. You think they allow, like, marrying multiple people in Canada? Because I'd have to. Pretty sure if I tried to marry anybody but my wife, she'd, like, find me. If I tried to divorce my wife, I'd have to be dead first. You're Canadian? You want to get married, Grog uh, Grogoil? <laughs> Big of me much? You know what? Yes. Love is love, and if Grogoil and I are in love, then you shouldn't stand in our way. Why Canadian? Uh, don't they get bagged milk? Is there a problem with bagged milk? <laughs> that that is that is right. Uh, Muse is single, and uh, well, I mean, not single, but unmarried. She is, as they term it, available. <laughs> I've had several autoimmune issues. Psoriasis the first year after I stopped, I got colitis, not normal colitis. Triggered by my body, overreact to exposure to viruses. Well, oh yeah, if you work in a hospital, that'll happen. I hadn't thought of that. I went to the hospital for years, it stopped, came back, the disease came back. Wow, that's harsh. Hey! Real meat! Eggs? I could use me some of that free healthcare, right? And there's no... I, I they're... Like, Biden promises free healthcare, but, uh... Getting anything past this Senate is gonna be almost impossible. Uh, looks like we're all done here. Bagged milk is about the only way you can find it in China, too. There's no problem with bagged milk. I don't understand why people think that's weird. It's weird that we put it in cardboard. It's weird that we put our eggs in fridges. Why do we refrigerate our eggs? Okay, that was a good, good haul. And do I have enough room left? I have enough room left. I want to go try and find a needle at the fashion place. Wait, do I have... Do I get any tea bags in there? I'm very tired right now. I'd also eat some coffee. Nothing. Looks like a no. Alright, if there's anything to fight there, we don't fight. Unless it's like one at a time. Shiba Jewelers, Mom McFudgingtons. Like, I've cleared out a lot of this, so... All I've got to do... Is just get... Into one of these places here. Bagged milk is... It's salmonella. But, that's the thing, is... That doesn't happen normally in milk. Or... Well, I mean, in milk it does. Uh, it doesn't happen in, uh, in milk that is bagged. It uh, also does not happen in eggs. Unless you wash them first, and there's no reason to wash them. There we go. There's a needle. Not recommended. Yes, it is. Literally the rest of the entire planet. The rest of the entire planet does not wash their eggs. And they're fine. Also, I want some of these mannequins. I'm gonna get me some girlfriends. Well, that was a quick trip. I found exactly what I was looking for.
Also, personal opinion, farm fresh eggs, much better than dead washed eggs. There's just something lacking. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I couldn't even tell you what it is, because really there's not much of a difference except that you have to refrigerate the eggs first. Depends on location? Not really. It really does not. There is nothing different about the chickens that we have in America. Absolutely nothing. When I remember, there's a good uh, foodborne disease you can prevent by either leaving the coating on and not refrigerating or by washing them and refrigerating. Different response to the same problem. I don't know, actually. Getting me some girlfriends. They need better clothing and uh, maybe hair and hats. But I love them. Don't you dare touch them. I found exactly what I wanted to find. How rare that is. This was a good day. <laughs> They passed exactly the opposite laws. Exactly, exactly. See, that's the thing a lot of people don't realize is like, it's all trying to protect against Salmonella, but like in different ways. The washing thing is really just paranoia. The eggs are the same, but oh, the chickens. American chickens are so American chickens are different. I will admit that. They are genetically I don't even know. Um, geez, uh, th there's, they're very different. Washing eggs, you mean after cracking? No? No, we're talking about fresh from the chicken butt. Just leaving them in a basket. I never seen anyone wash eggs before. Yeah, no, I mean, well, I mean, you don't like you get them from the store and they've been washed and that's why you have to refrigerate them. If they're not washed and they're straight from the chicken butt, they're still fine. Ostrich egg tastes wrong. I can't even describe it. I've had ostrich egg and like it doesn't taste right. I can't, I don't know why, because it still tastes like egg. Like, I, I've had a uh, scrambled ostrich egg, and it's literally in no way different, but it just, it's just wrong somehow. If you meant by that, of course we wouldn't if we didn't work on some farm. Uh, it, 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 you can get them from the store, and they'll still be just fine uh, if they've been left out. They actually last longer just on shelves. There's, there's no reason to wash them before they even go to the store. Oh, that's a paragraph. Woof. Okay, fish eggs are awesome, chicken eggs are awesome, surely ostrich follows. It just doesn't taste like chicken, and I, I, it's it's wrong, and I don't know why. I don't know why. Eggs are listed with a special film that protect are, are laid with a special film that protects them. In America, uh, the laws, the farmers have to wash them. That means the coating is gone. They have to be refrigerated. In Europe, they leave the coating on by law. They can't be refrigerated then because it causes the coating to deteriorate. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what we're talking about. Like, they, they don't need to be washed. I mean, are, are you going to lick the shell? Hmm. 
because that's the only reason that they would need to be washed. But like in America, we're like, no, chickens poop on them. Yeah. And. Apparently Kath is, but you know, well, that's your choice. Catch the eggs with my teeth fresh. I mean, I've had milk from the tea. It's a thing. Oh, god damn it. Although I do want to keep the hunting knife for a kitchen knife. By the way, milk from the teat, it's gross. Oh, don't do it. Just don't. It, it, it might seem like a rural farmer America thing. Yeehaw. It's, no, it's disgusting. It tastes really gross. Catch the egg straight from the rooster. Um, sir, I, uh, I have some dis- No, oh, no! I was not paying attention. I was not paying attention. I was not paying attention. Y'all got me distracted talking about eggs and shit and drinking from cow titties and I almost died because of it. God damn it. We're answering which came first. Uh, technically the uh, technically the, the chicken did. Uh, evo it's evolution. You're coming with me. Well, that was fun. How do you fall for that twice, Muse? Do I want to know? Well, those bastards. Uh, I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> and then tomorrow we'll go kill us some zombies. Yeah, full night's sleep. Oh, it does it. Oh, it used up the nails when I did that. That's so dumb. He's not. Uh, no, Muse, no. Okay, where are you? Well, they just fucked off! They just left! One almost takes a bite out of me and then just leaves? How rude. I did ask. We just don't bring up, like, incest in my stream, thank you. And I know, I'm, uh, by the way, it wasn't incest. Uh, I'm joking. This is a constant personal joke between Muse and I. We're not weird. Er, the normal. Which is pretty weird. But let's not bring up personal things. Where'd they go? <laughs> I, I slept a full night, came down here raring and thirsty for blood, and they ran. It's just rude, all right? Damn it, did I just do that again? Son of a bitch. All right, you know what? This, this first aid kit, I actually want to put in the car. Uh, yeah, in the car you go.
there's no reason to have it outside the car. Although I have had a game where, like, the first aid kit was my only way to carry things. That was obnoxious. <laughs> God, I keep expecting to, like, open a door and there's a zombie, like, in my face. How close are we? Uh, current growing phase unknown. I am not a good enough farmer. At least they're well watered. Hey, can I... Furniture, rain collector barrel... No, I need one more carpentry to make a rain collector barrel. I was like, it keeps raining. I should fill water barrels while I have a chance, but... I'll just I'll just take the risk and not be uh, not be concerned about it. Sounds like a fantastic plan. I should have brought another bag down with me. Man, I wish I had thought of that before I had done all of this work trying to <sighs> sort all the stuff that I've been carrying up. I am I am not a clever man. We all know this. I'm keeping the wrench on me, though, because I still don't know where that asshole went. He tried to take a chunk out of me, got a mouthful of chef's coat, and then fucked off. Which is... Just rude. There we go, all empty. Someday I might organize this. Someday. But the important thing is, I got everything I went out for. I got my, uh, I got a lot of material. I got a lot of food. Oh, I even filled up this shelf. Yeah, two egg cartons too, which is grand. I should make something to celebrate. We're going to make stir-fry from chicken breast. Like, I'm a chef. I should do chef things. I wonder why we can't put rice in a stir-fry. You don't need to cook rice before you put it in a stir-fry. You just prepare it correctly. I mean, this character is an expert chef. He should know. Corn. Because apparently corn I can just throw in there. I can put dry ramen noodles... Ew. Pepper. Salt. I got up to 74. Let's see how high we can get this. So I gotta put my salt and pepper back. Ninety six, not bad. All prepared to microwave. Nom 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 nom. Okay, what now? Damn, I got a lot of crap. Might be time for some wooden crates. I need like one more carpentry, I believe. I can make a tin fan club? Tin can club. There's tin fan club. I don't know why I thought that. Any positives to using a stove over a microwave? Microwaves make more noise. I can make a slam fire shotgun.
It's still making noise! Make metal scraps for ammo. Get... Shrapnel shells? Oh. It's out of scrap metal. Let's do it. Yeah, the sound is awful. And here's this ammo noise that sounds like somebody jangling keys. Is this is this the shell it uses? Or does it need shotgun shells? Like what what is the shrapnel shell for? I don't know. I just made a bunch of them and apparently they don't work at the slamfire shotgun. So I don't know where those go. Uh, let's go ahead and just put them on a the floor over here. Uh, I think it just uses shotgun shells, which, if I just made a shotgun, I'm pretty happy. Like, I'll take it. It's a one shell at a time shotgun. Interesting. I'll take it. A shotgun against the hordes that we have? I'll take it. I just, I need a file. Can I make shotgun shells? I can. Interesting. Okay. Can you shoot or stab through chain fences? Yes to both. If it's a stabbing weapon, it can go through chain fences. If it's a... And you can always shoot through chain fences. If you can see a zombie, you can shoot them. Ooh, I can make metal sheets now. Awesome. I still... Don't have, uh, I can make a radio. Interesting. I can build a drawer. Uh, I should make a mortar and pestle. Since I can actually use that now. I can make bath towels. I can make a campfire kit, which... Not a bad idea. I might want to do a burn eventually when it stops raining. I haven't really decided. Okay, so I've got a shotgun. The game is trusting me with guns. Never a bad, never a good idea. Um, I want to put the mortar and pestle over here. If I ever go foraging, I can make medicine. That's good. Right, I need to make a composter. Flex. Uh, let's take the nails. <clears throat> Lots of planks, nice. Okay. I also, note, have still not found a hammer. I'm still using the stone hammer that I found. That's weird. Hmm. Deciding where to put everything. I'm going to put a box right there for fuel or a shelf right there for fuel for the generator. Um, I can go right here.
All right. And now I think I'm going to practice a little bit of uh, carpentry here by walling this up. The less the zombies see of me, the better. All right. <laughs> That's all my planks. And now we take all of that, and all of that goes right into the composter. And now in several weeks, we will have compost. Why is my character so incredibly unhappy? I'm sure it's my fault somehow. Okay, what next? Probably let's like grab more planks and actually make some kind of storage instead of just the pile on the floor. Okay, let's go downstairs, grab some stuff down there as well. So we did leave a bunch of planks down there. I think even my character is getting tired of, uh, you know, just running around gathering and practicing skills. But you know what, Remy? I'm the boss. You are a rat controlling a human being controlled by a human controlling a rat controlling a human. You can complain all you want about that. All right, full up. Okay, let's drop all the unusable metal and wood scraps and all that stuff since I'm not going to be using it right now. We just went down there for planks and then ended up grabbing mostly not planks. This is going to be interesting. Like, this is my workroom. So basically, just everything is going to be stored in here. And I don't know exactly how I'm going to organize all of it. <laughs> I have no idea, and really what I need is paint. Uh, oh, I still have crap on me, don't I? I got the toddler rugs on me. Um, I do realize my bedroom is basically going to have to be back in this corner here. Uh, because um, the uh, stove has to be put against an outside facing wall when I get to get an antique stove. And maybe I should work on that someday. Uh, but I am right now, I think I'm going to go get a bed. Maybe after spending the day working out. I could get a double bed. I really could. Oh, this doesn't work at all. I hate it and I love it. That's disgusting. We're going to make the worst bedroom ever. That's my plan right now. I'm going to hate it every single time I go into it. Uh, right now, though, I'm going to spend the rest of the day working out. Uh, duffel bag, drop on the ground. Because we're going to go out and we're going to go looting again. 
It's going to happen, but tomorrow. So we're going to sit, do sit-ups, rest. Why does it still say I'm carrying a lot of stuff? Ah, the saw. What the hell was that noise? I don't know what that noise was. It wasn't the helicopter, it was just sort of like static. What is that? It's only when I'm working out. I have no idea what that noise is. All right, that's enough. Um, now we sleep. Your mannequin keeps scaring you. It's kind of what they're there for. There we go. I kind of woke up at the time that I wanted to. Uh, somebody took a chunk out of my 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 chef's uniform. <sighs> yeah, it was that guy, that asshole. All right, we're gonna go find a bed. That's what the noise was. It's him beating on a door. The mannequin did it while I slept. I'm sort of picturing that I'm like uh, number five uh, in uh, Umbrella Academy. Great series, by the way. Except that I have two girlfriends, because clearly I'm cooler. Although being cool at the number five is a shit. Nope. I did not expect there to be any Zeds in here. Because it's been here for so long. Why was there a single zombie? <sighs> Alright. 52% chance to get it. It vanished. I got one piece. I'll take it. The books. Uh, electronic magazine I've already read. If I have to con if I if I have to make a bed one piece at a time, I'm fine with that. Probably a member of the Spanish Inquisition. I hear no one expects them. I don't think that joke will ever get old and I really don't want it to. All right, Omni. We're going to be ready for zombies this time. Yeah, that door was closed. Okay, we're fine. 52%. Hey, we got everything but the third one. God damn it. I did, however, see fingerless gloves and a pillow. If all else fails, I'll make my own goddamn bed. I love Monty Python too. I was very sad to find out that John Cleese is racist. Then again, I was also sad last night to find out that Bruce Willis is an anti-masker. Who saw that coming? No, he wasn't. It's not racist. I think he. I don't remember if it's racist or a transphobe. I know he's a transphobe. I mean, look at every single joke in Monty Python. <clears throat> Why can't people be like the characters they play? That's the bad thing. Yes, they they are. Like Bruce Willis is old and tough.
and doesn't really understand technology. You see where I'm going with this? All right, what did I get? I got a three of four that I might be able to make a bed now. Maybe. Out of all the pieces I have. That's a large oak bed. I am missing... Two of four. Damn it! So I need I need a piece of a modern bed or a piece of an oak bed. Yeah, finding out about Bruce Willis was really disappointing because I he I I love love the Die Hard movies, and I loved I got literally nothing out of that one. I loved Glass. Um, Like I, I don't, uh, I, don't, I can't think of anything I haven't seen him in that I haven't loved. Great sense of humor and everything, but then to find out that he's that selfish that he thinks that masks don't help, like, or thinks that he's too important to wear a mask. Either one is just, it's just bizarre and wrong. Okay, I got another piece of the modern bed. It's a three of four. I don't remember if that's the one I needed. Let's go find out. Also, what makes a bed modern? Uh, one, two, four. I got it. Awesome. All pieces of a large modern bed. And now I have another stop I want to make before I head back home. Um. Amber lamps? Come on. I don't know what was happening there. Wouldn't believe how many medical professionals don't think masks work. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about that. That is dep depressing excuse me gentlemen I just I don't understand this country sometimes it worked for New Zealand why wouldn't it work for us people are dying then again look at this person who is still somehow our president Anyway, that's enough of that. All right, what are these places might have what I'm looking for? What was that? I'll take the fabric. I can probably use that eventually. Uh, black striped socks. I mean, they'd fit my pants. I can't see. No such luck. Okay, fine. Uh, no, I was looking for a hair place. What are we doing here? But like, of course masks work. That's why they wear them. I actually forget if there's a hair place in this town. I should stop by the gas station. Like, I'm right here. Have I raided this gas station? I actually don't rate I actually don't think I have. 
Uh, I don't want to right now. Like, there's nothing here that I can't get later. I have a goal. I need to start focusing on goals. So yourself, Hugo Plush, time for sports. U.S. Mail. You know, one day I would like to see you uh, head to the small farming town between Riverside and Muldraw. You weren't here yesterday? That's the place I was looking for. Hair Genesis. Like, I literally went through that the other day. Okay, there's several things that I'm here for. I will take every bit of scissors because I want to make a whole bunch of spears. That's going to take duct tape. Can you make duct tape? Do I have a mod for that? I've got the salvager mod. It might allow me to make it. I'm kind of confused as to why you can't make duct tape easily, though. There we go. Uh, scissors. Must have missed it. Is there any potential bases out that way? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, no, like, two-story buildings, but there's... There's just a lot of open land. All the hairspray. Scissors. God, there's so many scissors. Oh. Anything back here? Nope, this should just go into the next building. Yep. Oh well. I didn't find exactly what I was looking for, but I've got enough that I can head back now. What if I can replace pieces on this ambulance with pieces from the other ambulance? I think I just drove through a street light. Or one of the 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 light posts. That was weird. Oh, the ambulance is the best. It can corner, it can drive really fast it can be super duper loud it's got a ton of storage space i love the ambulance got 15 things of hairspray there a new hunter magazine for new traps which i really do need eventually it's more fabric another pillow some socks and gloves. The most important thing, though. Wigs. I don't know if you can understand how incredibly important it is that these that these that my ladies have hair. She's very dramatic because she doesn't have hair. What the fuck, webcam? Jesus Christ. I have no idea what my webcam is doing. I really need to get a new one or something. It's just being weird. All right, drop you off. And now let's haul up a bed piece by piece. There is like, I really need to wash up. Oh my God, my clothing is just a wreck. I am a mess. <laughs> I wonder if that contributes to unhappiness if your clothing is just horrifically messy. 
I was just scared by my own mannequins. It happened. It happened. Alright, how many of these can I carry at a time? One. Fuck. Um. Oh god, how am I gonna put this bed together? Shit. Yeah, I don't... Shit, how am I gonna put this bed together? I'm gonna have to drop literally everything except for the bed pieces. Well, let's do this. I don't know why I'm keeping the cigarettes. Some things are important, though. I haven't seen Remy's face and beard in a long time. Man, does he need a haircut. Why is there a chef's hat on the ground? Fuck, I can't carry it all. I can't put this bed together. Son of a bitch. Maybe I can place it like two pieces at a time. Well, I need a hammer to do it. I might be able to, though. Anyway. There we go. I gotta stay somewhat in character. I might need to, like, level up my strength a lot to put this bed together. Or just, like, bite the bullet and uh, just get a small bed or make a bed. I said I needed a hammer. I can't believe I still have not found a hammering game, too. All right, if I stand over this. Nope. Son of a bitch. All of that work for nothing. <sighs> All right. Did that zombie tear through my apron and my shirt? Wow, he did. It's the long sleeve t-shirt that saved me. I thought it was working. Um, it... <sighs> Not entirely. Um... I can't you, to to put down furniture. You have to hold all the pieces of the furniture in your in in your inventory, and I can't hold an entire bed in my inventory. All right, let's see how many uh, how many pillows we got here. I have four. Come on, open up. A mattress is five pillows. I need one more pillow and then a whole bunch of sheets. I know exactly where I need to go. I just really don't want to go there. I just, I did all of that goddamn work to get that bed, and now I can't even use it. Clearly, Remy is super depressed about it. Excuse me. So we're going to go to the hotels and we're going to take apart the hotel. I mean, I could potentially get a bed there, but I'm kind of convinced right now that unless I make a bed, I'm not going to get a bed. 
I really wanted the four bed, the 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 the, the king sized bed, but it's not happening. I really should also patch up my chef's outfit. One of the uh, hotel staff that you find should have like a master key. You can just open up every single one of the places up here. I mean, hotel, motel, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Well, that was a completely pointless amount of noise. But I'm not planning on staying here long. So one of these I could potentially take with me. If they wouldn't vanish. Oh my god, they just vanished. <sighs> pillow. There's the last pillow I need. Excuse me, excuse me. That was a completely dangerous move that I'm really shocked worked. Wait a minute. It's a Hawaiian shirt. I need this. And flip-flops. <gasps> oh my god, sunglasses. I'm finally cool. No, don't... Ugh. Remove curtains. There you go. Good boy. I think it's very funny that, like, uh, if my characters do something I don't want them to do, I'll punish them for it. Like, it's not just a confusing control scheme and, like, me making mistakes. All right, three sheets, four sheets to the wind. I need one more. I've got sheets back home. There we go, right there. I've got sheets back home, but I might as well grab as many as I can here while I'm at it, you know? Move curtain. There's literally nothing stopping me from grabbing these. <laughs> Except for that zombie which just fell off the balcony. Hello? She just fell off the balcony. What? Also, I like your shirt. I'm stealing it. It's mine now. You fell off the balcony and broke your legs, didn't you, sir? God, zombies are just adorable. Hold on. And that was exactly what I was waiting for. I was waiting for a text today. It came an hour later than I expected to, so y'all got an hour later a stream than normal. Uh, but there was stuff I'm supposed to be doing today, and I have to go do it. I was waiting for somebody to text me for it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we're going to have a new bed by tomorrow I'm gonna make it myself but as for now I've got to call it a day so thank you all for watching uh, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel on YouTube maybe hit that bell uh, follow on Twitch follow on Twitter follow on Discord all the information is down below don't follow on Discord join us in Discord what's wrong with me if you like what you saw uh, I Hold on. I, I interrupted my own spiel and confused myself. If you have an Amazon Prime subscription, that means you have a free Twitch Prime subscription waiting for you. And if you want to throw that my way, that is the best free way to support the channel. I am Omni Rusted. This is Remy. 
You guys are awesome. And I want you to have...